Did Bethesda send Joe the game early? No, I, like many hundreds of uh, thousands of other nerds, um, have enabled the industry to uh, to finally reach uh, quadruple A pricing. So uh, consider this to be po possibly one of the standards going forward now, is that single player games will have a, a almost double price tag, but you get to play it a week early. I'm also back in Antimatter and Evolve Vital, so I'm very unhappy about that. Oh man, it's Star Wars music! It's Star Wars! Oh, this game doesn't like being all tabbed Oh no! I want windowed mode. Yeah, windowed. All right. Um, accept. Accept. Oh, now, now it's just a window. What was I expecting? All right. Now it's just. I want. I want borderless window. Can I have borderless window? No. Please. When are they gonna mod that in? Save on travel, difficulty normal, all, all difficulty levels affect damage and the chance to encounter legendary enemies. That's just Fallout 4 again! Turn motion blur off now. You know what? The motion blur haters have had control of this stream for too long. And I say, no more. We are gonna play a game with motion blur on. We are gonna play a game with motion blur on. Just to see. Every game we have listened to the motion blur haters and we've been like, you know what? Yeah, let's turn that off. And you know what? I don't even know why we do it anymore. Interface. Crosshair. Floating markers. Uh-oh. Damage numbers. Uh-oh. Should we have damage numbers on? Controls. I'm, I'm looking for something. And I'm starting to get increasingly worried as I'm not finding it. Uh-oh. Is there really no FOV slider? Total Biscuit is shaking his head somewhere right now. He is just, he's just shaking his head, just like. <sighs> I'm sorry, Total Biscuit. No FOV slider. Insane. Really? Wow. They have console commands for the, for the game, so maybe the FOV is. Oh, yeah, I remember having to do that every single time I restarted the game, and every single time I, I, I quick loaded and sometimes quick saved playing Skyrim, I would have to hit tilde and type in FOV slash FOV or whatever to, 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 <laughs> to, to fix it. <laughs> let's, let's see if we can do that when we get in the game. All right, so we're starting. Here we go. Starfield. Engage. Seals are good. Oxygen's good. Just do what you did last time, and you'll find. Follow my one simple rule. Hella, what's my one simple rule? Hella. How's the sound? Listen to me. Mining's just like any other job. Go steady. Go safe, go home with a pocket full of credits at the end of the day. Oh, yeah, thank you. Totally. It's credits. Just like, um, now I work in the Star Dock, except uh, with more cave ins, lasers, and accidental dismemberment. Very Wait. Helpful. Did I just and do that? Ah, you're gonna be fine. Your first outing was solid. Oh! Let's be honest, it ain't exactly astrophysics. That's why I keep him around. Good pep talks. Yeah, and the fact that I can pinpoint a helium deposit from 300 meters. <laughs> Not untrue. Shame we won't find any down here. But the metal deposits alone should pay for our own helium. Hell, after this, we'll have Hella. enough jump fuel to bounce from he's one Heller, end of the not Hell. systems to the next. Hey, more minerals, more money. And so the cycle repeats itself. Okay. Just no more unauthorized jumps in the house for room space, okay? He's just a big baby. There are worse lives. You know, most Dusties don't even make it this far. I have a good feeling about you. Yeah. Right, group hug now or at the end of the shift? <sighs> One of these days, Hella, I am going to leave you behind. Oh, he's dead. Promises, promises. Okay, do I get a helmet? No? No helmet for me. No helmet for me. All right, then. Okay, let's see what we've got. You, check on Isabel. Make sure she eases up on the breach. I don't feel like getting buried alive today. All right, so I think this looks very good, but you may disagree. I don't know if my standards are good standards, but I think this looks fantastic. Visually. Yeah. Reg regs are based. Fuck you. I don't want to work for you. Yes, let's work for the someone who hates regulations. They're written in blood. 
F O V F O V ninety. No F O V one hundred slash F O V ninety. Ninety? No. What is it? It's it's just F O V ninety. Okay. Yeah. I hit okay. I pressed D. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. I. All right. Thank you. All right. Now now we do it. F O V ninety. No. Todd, I would like the FOV to be 90, please. Why didn't you put in a slider? No, Ta script command Todd not found. Oh, but FOV is found. Oh, okay, FOV 150. If I if I leave, no, FOV one. My FOV is one, no. FOV exists. No, I feel like it's it's moving the FOV of, of, of the, of the, the tilt thing. FOV, no? <laughs> no, no, okay. No FOV. Why is your face dirty? You have a helmet on. Oh, did they patch it? Oh, wow. They, they hotfixed this. I killed myself here last night. Hotfixed. Whoa. Are they lurking in jets? Seriously, how are their faces dirty? They have helmets on. No one's mining down here without their helmets. This looks really cool, by the way. I, l I love um, how it actually looks like strip mined out or whatever. I don't know what the term is. Th this looks really cool. Dusty, you're up. Grab a cutter and mine what you can. On a unknown variable FOV. It doesn't even know what FOV is. Underscore FOV. All right, FOV like that, 90? No. FOV 90. Type it out. Nope. FOV. Okay, it knows FOV. FOV set 90. FOV underscore set 90. No. Nope. Currently, there is no console command for an FOV slider in Starfield that player that players know about. How? Oh, so there's a chance. So you're saying there's a chance. However, since the version, uh, this version of the creation engine differs from that of Skyrim and Fallout 4, players get are quickly trying to edit the ini files and other commands to get it working. All right. We, you know what? Trolley Chan, please set the FOV to 90. What are you waiting for? Pig. Oh, maybe their faces aren't dirty. Maybe it's just shadows. Busy here. No, faces are definitely dirty. That looks so cool. <laughs> I'm gonna get the bonus. <laughs> owned! <laughs> owned! So owned! <laughs> what are you doing? You suck at this. Running through these veins pretty quick. Yeah, because I stole them. <laughs> oh, business. All right. What are you doing? Anything I can steal? Yes. All right. Here we go. Rip and tear. Rip and tear. No. Boss, can I get a raise? All right, hold on. My for these are for me. You can ledge climb. Interesting. Oh, oh, all right. Where are we going? You know what? I actually don't want to try to play to try to try to play this guy. I don't want to try to break this game because I've never have to try to break a Bethesda game in my life. And if I try to break it and we find lots of bugs and glitches and shit, then maybe it's it's like oh, it's only because you try to break them. You know. But that said, can we, can we climb out? You can't run and jump. Wait, hold on. This you, oh, you must be able to work. Really? This is low stamina. Go with me. Uh, you think we'll be done here soon? You 
got somewhere else to be. What's wrong with you? Hey. Busy. I'm busy. Careful. Rip, 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 rip. Hey, watch it. How they sucker you to join? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why it's so funny. Is that the exaggerated like, <laughs> like, like animations when they're getting hit or something? I don't know. <laughs> Oh, you knew the thing was down here. All right, so so when I played this last night, I just like, like I was already in there when <laughs> I didn't even listen to this. I'm just like, do 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 space explorer. I didn't I didn't listen to that. I just like booked it right in. So okay, you knew. All right. <laughs> Hold on, I want to see if I can die now that I have the laser gun. All right, so like safe safety first here. Look, if you go near it, they turn it off. Oh. Chat, do you think Joe can die in a tutorial? If I die in the tutorial, do you know what happens? Do you want to know what happens if you die in the tutorial? Yes, you do? Alright, let's see. This is what happens if you die in the tutorial, alright? Get your Dr. Lingards ready, chat. Oh no, he died in the tutorial! Alright. And that's Starfield. Thank you very much for watching the stream, everybody. We'll, uh, we'll see you next time for something else. That's it. Really? Yeah, really. They they don't save it. They don't save it. You you have to start a, a brand new game, and start all the way from the beginning again, back on the elevator. Here we go. Joe, is this the fourth time you see it now? Yep. <laughs> Who needs that? Can I get can I get the the laser gun early? Percent skip. Oh yeah. Yeah, let's get going. Let's get going. Hey, Lily. Thank you for the coffee. Oh, you actually you mined it. Excuse me. Do you mind? Why is this one not doing damage? Oh, well, that one was your fault, dude. Okay, now now you just like me. All right, so now we're getting damage. Damage is, is being dealt for this one. So just that one over there can't hurt you. That's weird. No regs. The Starfield spoiler chat has had like six messages since stream start. They don't deserve a spoiler chat. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Haven't you been on Reddit and and gone on to the Starfield subreddit? Whereas one of the top most posts up there right now is, oh, all the people who are enjoying the game were too busy playing it to post here. That's what you don't understand, all right? Us Starfield players, we're a different breed. We know that we don't want to post in spoiler chat. We're too busy enjoying this masterpiece that Todd has bestowed on us, okay? Never mind that there was only maybe one or two negative posts on that subreddit, period, and, and they they were just like reinforcing their own, you know, uh, insecurities because, you know, mean old Danny Stapleton gave us a 7 out of 10. Like, you know, like, we, we gotta, we gotta keep it together. We're playing the game. We're playing the game. We have to remind everyone that everyone, everyone's enjoying it even more than what, than what we think. Lynn, seriously. I've just Lynn. Really effed up about this. Where is it, Hella? We're in space. You can swear. You can swear. Over there, I think. You, you're up. Something goes wrong in there. We'll come get you. What? Uh, <laughs> why would anything no. go wrong? Would you shut up? Are you, are you with Both of you do your jobs. Client is on his way. You... F this? No, 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 no. I'm I'm mining beryllium. No, fuck this. Any in here? No. Oh, guess not my job then. Fuck your regs. Here I go. Absolutely not. All right, you wouldn't believe the day I've had. Hey, did... 
Look at that. Perfect break. Oh, okay. It's it's hanging off of her. Better not get any more grief about punching the throttle too hard. Look at that. Perfect break. Better not get any more grief about punching the throttle too hard. What do you think about the brake? Look at that. Perfect brake. Huh. Do you think Lynn's gonna give you some grief about punching the throttle too hard? Better not get any more grief about punching the throttle too hard. Huh. It's about lunchtime, isn't it? Look at that. Perfect brake. Yeah, let's, let's go. Okay. Hey, don't look at me. I've done my part. Okay, do you, do you get three blood to play more cards when I go in there? Like, what's going on? Do your job. Okay, whatever. Uh... I found beryllium! Still getting weird gravity readings. I, I guess that's a good thing. Just keep going. I hate Joe, I laugh at his dumbest bits, it's unfair. <laughs> How do you think I feel? I, I have to think them up. For me, it's always like this. Do you see anything? I see beryllium. Use the cutter to break up the mineral deposits. I mean, shouldn't we just like, shouldn't we go check with her that that's what we want to do first? Like, we're just not gonna, we're just gonna come in and start firing the laser? I'm very particular about where I fire my laser. I don't want to just do that. All right, do we learn our dragon shout now? Shepard! Oh, we're watching a movie! It's THQ time! Alright! Or is it THX? I can't remember. Hey, come on. Come on. Okay, take it easy. You were out cold. No physical damage. Mentally, the jury's still out. Whoa. You know who you are? New recruit for Argos Extractors? Ring any bells? Any of this look familiar? Have to go digging in your brain pan? Alright. That was a little awkward. Alright, um, I wonder if they should have just started it here. And then you were told what happened. I guess it doesn't matter. Alright, so I went through these and, uh, there was an old man preset and we we're going- Yeah, here it is! We're going old man! We're old man, because I don't give a shit about making my own character. Alright, and we're going to make him muscular as all hell. We are buff old man, and um, we are going to space hit- Oh, god damn it, I see it now. <laughs> oh, no. Alright, can I change his mustache? Hold on. Can I- How do I change- Why can't Bethesda make a good beard? Alright, should we just go full beard? There you go. Alright, like that? Like this? Make Geralt- I'm not making Geralt! You're kind of making Geralt? Okay, we, we want a top knot? Is there a top knot? Alright, we're getting kind of close to Geralt. Alright. Little closer. There's no way it's gonna have specifically Geralt hair. Okay, it's- it should start bald and get progressively less bald. The further right I go, the more hair I should have. Like, what? what's difficult about this? Okay, that's probably as close as we're gonna get. Let's see. What, we're not even gonna see him! Who cares? Alright, eyes. Sh oh, hoo hoo! Alright. <laughs> All right, <laughs> done. All right, background. Here we go. Uh, so I didn't read these. I just I just picked bouncer and then moved on. All right. So what what do we want to be? All right, beast hunter from I'm, I'm a witcher from the Ashta of Aquila to the terramorphs that plague the whole of the settled systems. Hostile alien life abounds. You've learned the skills to track them, find them, and take them down. All right. We want twenty for beard. What do you mean? 20 for beard. How do you remember what it is? No! You know what? I'm kind of feeling it. 
I'm kind of feeling it. 20 does go pretty hard, I agree. Yeah? All right, let's go with that. All right. Bouncer. All right, does it... What matters more? Like, so, I, I actually do want to know. Anyone who's played this game, like, I know when you pick one right now, they're going to react to it, and they're going to say, oh, yeah, that's right, you were a bouncer before. But does this come up later on in the game, or is it just right now? Because if it comes up later on in the game, I would rather have a, a good backstory rather than I picked it for the stats. Right? It does? Okay, so we, we want a good backstory for our character then. All right, so... You've worked the line at the toughest clubs in the settled systems. Back then, you learned that most non-lethal confrontations can be solved one of two ways. A strong right hook, or a more strongly secured door. Ah, bounty hunter. Wherever there are wanted individuals, there are those who profit from their capture. And your quarry knows that the, the vastness of space, they can run, but they can't hide. Chef. <laughs> what is he cooking? Waffles cook upon. While the unrefined masses scarf down chunks by the shipload, you cater to those with a more discerning palate. Oh. Oh, is is this the the obligatory Bethesda cannibal plot? You notice that? Every every Bethesda game just finds a way to slip in some some cannibal storyline with the, the cannibal clan and like it's so weird. Are, are we the cannibal this time? In in your in your kitchen, countless alien species became true culinary masterpieces. Man, it was really a it was like a Mount Doom ma uh, moment of inspiration for that guy to be like, "Huh, my character is a cannibal. What should I call him?" Huh, Hannibal? Yeah, Hannibal the cannibal. Your dentist name is Crentus. Yep, maybe that's why he became a dentist. All right, that's that's Chef. All right. Combat medic, leave it to human beings to fight over something as infinite as outer space. That's where you come in. You've never been afraid to take on the enemy, but you'd much rather take care of your friends. Oh, we're not going that one. Cyber Runner, from Neon to New Atlantis, the megacorps stand as monuments to power, prestige, and profit. You've worked both for and against them on the inside and out, often sacrificing conscience for credits. Why are we mining here? That's weird. Cyberneticist? Robots mere toys, neuro amps, good for parlor tricks. The colony war may have made implants and upgrades available to veterans, but you once saw a greater future. Humans and machines as one. This world is imperfect. All right, so we're we're evil if we go that one. All right. The wars are over. Peace now reigns the settled systems, but only because there are those quietly fighting to keep it. Because of you, agreements were signed, words were heeded, lives were spared, and now you're a miner. Explorer. They said exploration is a lost art. What? Where, what do you mean? We're in, we're in space. It's infinite. You didn't listen. As the major function, factions argued over the space they desperately tried to control, you were busy uncovering the, the wonders of the settled systems by mining. Gangster. You were always disgusted by suckers killing themselves to make an honest wage. As soon as you were old enough to hold a weapon, you took what you wanted from anyone unlucky enough to have it. I mean, that tracks for what we did so far downstairs. Homesteader. The discovery of the cell system as many oxygen-rich planets and moons meant humans could live just about anywhere. If they had the know-how, you did, and utilized it to great effect. Industrialist. There was a time when all you wanted was to be a titan of industry, maybe a ship designer or a megacorp executive. Thankfully, that skill set never goes out of style in the settled systems. Long Hauler. Let those other hot-headed pilots obsess over laser weapons and maneuverability. You're a space trucker, pure and simple. Pack the cargo, get it there fast, get paid, repeat. Life is simple and good. You know what? I feel like we're kind of we're kind of a space trucker. I don't know. Let's see. Or are we gonna be a witcher, pilgrim, wayfarer, wanderer, seeker, transient? You could have been. You've been called many things during your travels and learned something those others could never understand. The journey is the destination. No, it's not true. That's not true at all. Is that an avocado down there? Okay, professor. You always enjoyed learning, but nothing could compare to the joy of teaching others. As yeah, okay. As humankind spread through the stars, uh, there was never a lack of knowledge to obtain, and you gladly assisted. Ronin, masterless and unbound, you wandered the settled systems as a blade for hire. To some, you were simply a mercenary, to others, a hero. And to a, to a select few, someone to send down into the mines to get an artifact, a nightmare they could never wake from. Sculptor, with your knowledge of anatomy and skilled steady hands, you could have had a lucrative career as a surgeon. Instead, you followed your heart and created works of art to amaze and inspire. What? Uh... Okay. Soldier, the cell systems is no stranger to warfare, and if there's one thing armed conflict relies on, it's trained warriors with guns and guts. You had both. Simple. 
Simple, bloody work, and you were great at it. Space scoundrel. Good, bad, who's right is it to say? If there's anything you've learned while, while trapezing through the galaxy, it's this. Space may look black, but it's really one big shade of gray. Oh, no! Oh, my God! Oh, right in the standards. Oh, 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 oh man. That came out of nowhere. Holy shit. All right, Zen Xenobiologist. The settled systems home to untold alien species, and while none of them- Oh, they're aliens, and, and, and while none of them have yet proven sentient- Oh, that never deterred you. You sought out and studied them for whatever gifts they, they offered. So no alien waifu? <sighs> What's the point then? What's the point? Alright, file not found. Oddly, there is no information on file about your past life. Clerical oversight, deletion by some powerful unknown faction, or was there just nothing of note to mention? Whatever the reason, your past is known only to you. What's important is the here and now and the path you're about to forge. Alright, so this gives you wellness, ballistics, and piloting. Why is there a tentacle with a gun, chat? Alright. So, my plan was to be to be astronaut Buzz Aldrin that's gonna punch his way through through the verse. One punch at a time, lets his hands do the talking, and only uses a gun or any other type of weapon if it's if it's absolutely necessary. So that's why I wanted to go bouncer. But just because he's a bouncer doesn't does you know doesn't you don't have to go bouncer to use to use uh to use um your fists. I mean, if we're basing off of like modern day astronauts, what are they if not long haulers? Like, the level of tech we're at right now, when it comes to space, is just pretty much we're just space truckers, right? So, I don't know, I feel like maybe we're just a trucker. Ballistic weapon systems, what kind of things are you trucking? We we love Twitter, we're, we're Trucker X. Alright, long hauler. Alright, here we go. Traits. Um, uh, more reading? Okay. Alien DNA. You volunteered as a controversial experiment, sorry, for a controversial, sorry, for a controversial experiment that combines alien and human DNA. As a result, you start with increased health and oxygen, but healing and food items aren't as effective. See, we should have put that with chef, and the chef is like constantly searching for a way to, to get over this. This damage has been done to them. Dream home. You own a, a luxurious customizable house on a peaceful planet. Unfortunately, it comes with a 125,000 credit mortgage with Gal Bank that has to be paid weekly. Well, that's that's a little too real for me. Okay. Empath. All right. That's one. All right. Locked in. Lock it in. Lock it in. I'm a bit of an empath. I haven't read it yet and it's locked in. So I'm a bit of an empath and I'm, and I'm sensing. You are deeply connected to the feelings of others. Performing actions your companion likes will, will result in a temporary increase in combat effectiveness. But performing actions they don't like will have the precise opposite effect. All right. That's kind of a shitty, a shitty uh, effect. But does it have conversation options? Hopefully. All right. Extrovert. Extrovert. You're a people person. Exerting yourself uses less oxygen when adventuring with human companions. What? But more when adventuring alone. Can't be combined Can't be combined with introvert. Why not? Why not? I'm both. Freestar Collective set Settler. You gain access to, to special Freestar Collective dialogue options. Go on. And better rewards for from some missions uh, given by the faction. But crime bounty towards other factions is greatly increased. Can't be combined with any other faction legions trait. Oh, so there's more of these. Hero worshipped. You've earned the attention of an annoying, adoring fan who will show up randomly and jabber you at you incessantly. On the plus side, he'll join your ship's crew and give you gifts. You know what? I'm not feeling this one, man. I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. You know what? I feel like every other streamer is going to pick this one too. Like, nah, I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. Let's put it in for now and see if we find a better one, though, because chat seems to be heading toward a revolt. Introvert. You really need your alone time. Exerting yourself uses less, less oxygen when adventuring alone, but more when adventuring with other human companions. Kid stuff. Your parents are alive and well. Oh, man, that's that's horrible. And you can visit them at their home. No, but you will automatically send 2% of your credits home to them every week. Nope. Neon Street Rat. You grew up on the mean streets of Neon. You gain access to... Neon! You gain access to special dialogue options and better rewards for, for some missions on Neon. Crime bounty by other factions is greatly increased. Alright, so we should probably pick one of these faction ones then, I guess. Raised Enlightened. Yeah, okay. You grew up as a member of the Enlightened. You gain access to a special chest full of items in the House of the Enlightened. 
in New Atlantis, but lose access to the Sanctum Universe chest. Oh no, not the Sanctum Universe chest. Raise Universal. You grew up as a member of the Sanctum Universe. You gain access to a special chest full of items of the Sanctum Universe. Universum in New Atlantis, but lose access to the House of Enlightened Ch of the Enlightened Chest can't be combined with any other religion trait. All right, so can I get? I want I want these gone, please. Remove, remove. All right, so can I get like Free Star and oh, it, it gets rid of it. Okay, that's interesting. All right, so oh man, that's actually surprisingly user friendly from from Bethesda. Damn. Uh. So Serpent's Embrace. You grew up worshipping the Great Serpent. Grav jumping provides a temporary boost to health and oxygen, but health and oxygen are lowered if you don't continue jumping regularly like an addiction. <laughs> I feel so called out. <laughs> I can't sit still. But is, is like, health and oxygen... Like, good? What do you mean? If I jump, do I get oxygen back? Can I just stay out forever? Spaced. Your body has become acc acclimated to space. Health and oxygen are increased when in space, but decrease when on the surface. Can't be combined with terra firma. Oh, I'm terra firma myself. Occasionally, taskmas taskmaster. Occasionally, you have to do really weird games for that guy whose name I can't remember. God damn, what's his name? Who's the guy that does Taskmaster? Taskmaster, Alex Horn, and I can't remember the other guy. You, if you if you have crew t trained in a certain ship system, that system will automatically repair itself to full health whenever it is annual fifty percent. However, all crew cost twice as much to hire. Greg Davies, there you go, Greg Davies. Okay, this seems like okay. Do I have to pay them weekly or just to hire? Because this seems really good. What do you mean? So whenever anything goes below fifty percent, it just gets it just gets right back up to full. So I'm invincible. Okay. Oh, it says occasionally. Sorry. Yeah, you're right. It's right there at the start, so that's why I didn't understand. Terra firma. You never you've never acclimated to space. Health and oxygen are increased when on the surface, but decrease when you're in space. Can't be combined with spaced. All right. United Colonies native. You gain access to special United Colonies dialogue options and better rewards for, for some missions uh, by the faction. However, crime bounty by other factions is greatly increased. Alright, wanted. Someone put a price on your head and word has spread. Occasionally, armed mercenaries will show up and try to kill you, but being cornered gives you an edge. When your health is low, you do extra damage. Alright, that one sounds fun. That one sounds fun. Alright, you know what? I'm, I'm kind of not feeling Empath. Empath is kind of like, it's, it's a joke, but at the same time, eh dialogue options and that's one thing but you know what there's probably going to be more all right so here i really want wanted okay i really want wanted and i think we should pick one of the factions all right so do we want to be a free star collective settler a neon street rat or united colonies native okay you know what's weird like it says like neon street rat gives gives you a little bit of like a blurb of what it's about but then, like, but the other ones don't. Alright, Snake Snake has won. <laughs> we don't even have to do the poll. Snake Snake has won. Do you think there's, like, a there's a silent majority who wants really wants hero worshipped rather than Snake? Empath, that's mind reading. <laughs> Wanted plus, plus Snake is going to be amazing, is it? We're a rat and a snake and we're wanted. People, people don't like us. All right, here. Oh, snake, snake has won. Snake has won. All right, here we go. Here we go. So this, this is our character. All right, this is our character. Long hauler. All right, and we're we're waffles. Buzz upon in in honor of Buzz Aldrin. I haven't looked at your record in some time. Good qualifications. Being a long hauler is basically mining with more sitting down. No, no, no. Well, no, you got the sample. Not even a little bit. On his way, then we all get paid. You remember anything that happened? There was this light and music. It was incredible, like a dream or a vision. Everything, everything's a blank after I went to that tunnel. You know what? We're snake. We're lying. Huh. Yeah. Well, it makes the paperwork easier, mm -hmm. and we got what we were looking for. All this trouble for that stupid thing? Sure don't look like much. Never mind what uh, it looks like. Okay. Are, oh, yeah. Oh, FOV90. Can we do it now? All right. Is this really what the dialogue camera is going to be like the whole game? Speak of the devil. Oh, that's for me. Syringe value. Ho, 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 ho. Constellation contact is on approach. Wait. <laughs> I 
thought they were kind of a joke. Not a joke. You're just too young to know better. Hey, I'm hey, just saying, they got it. a reputation. Hell, I bet half the crew here doesn't even believe that you sit. Whoa, you all right? Hey, watch it! Yeah. Same with Constellation. Yeah, but come on. Exploring space? Who does that anymore? Ain't the space what? we've already got complicated enough? What do you mean, who doesn't Not explore them, space? Alright, how do I... How do I... Oh, okay. Victera, Argus... Oh, so this is where we are. Local time. Surveyed 80%. Oh, that does not bode well. Weightlifting! Skill... Oh, what are our skills? You receive one skill point to spend every time you level up. Each skill also unlocks a challenge. Complete the, the challenge and then spend the skill point to rank the skill up. What? The top row represents basic skills. The rows below are locked until you have spent a number of skill points in that category. What is this vomit like fucking skill tr what okay uh, combat ballistics dueling okay what's down here sharp shooting all right where's where's plus five poison resistance it doesn't loop really okay well i guess that's fine all right so we have piloting and ballistic weapon systems and we have weightlifting sprint for 1000 meters while at 75 percent or more of your maximum load capacity oh that's the challenge Increase total carrying capacity by 10 kilograms. Alright, so we have to get... Alright, hold on. Hold on. Not interested. Whatever. Can I have that? You done with that? I'm the best at getting over encumbered in these games. Careful! Hey, that was my sandwich! Seminar to work on, you, huh? Hey, this is why we're wanted because we we steal sandwiches. Oh, now I have two. Supervisor's log supplemental. Still need two of us. Extractors, Victoratic. Restart collective claim ID beta seven five four eight. How they you to join? As far as anyone knows, this is just another all run. Victoratic's got enough mid-level veins to keep everyone working and not asking questions. I've told Hella everything he needs to know, which is pretty much everything I know. And this is another one of Barrett's special orders. Installation credits mean we dig our holes and keep our mouths shut. And I'm okay with that. Hopefully, between Barrett's mysterious thing and the ore itself, we'll be done with this rock in five days, when the transport is supposed to come back for extraction. Okay, do they have the, the the absolute best thing that Fallout 4 did Lynch was seems to like you. Yes. was hey, when you would loot a, a container and it would just show up with this little thing next to your next to your cursor and you could mouse wheel up oh up and down and pick what you wanted that was just the best thing that that game okay? did I hope that's still in the game because that was like an amazing inclusion yeah it looks like it all right tra hold on let's find out categories I would like to put something in. I can't? I can't put anything in. Really? Oh, we got to keep it! Alright, confirm. And let's put all... Let's put... No, let's, let's put all the... Um... Ah! Look, it's here! That's neat. Oh, we're just stealing. Okay, how we doing for inventory weight? Five, 50 out of 145. Alright. No. Oh, I don't have a helmet on. Am I okay? Am I allowed to be down here? You're no better than Jelly, what he did with those tacos. No, 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 no. Okay, first of all, first of all, it was a taco. A taco and taco, all right. And number two, I'm there's, I'm not worse. No, I I am putting things in my bag for a reason. What's this? Jelly ate a, ate a taco out of the trash. What's the reason? Because it looked tasty, I assume. I ate pizza out of the trash. I thought you ate taco out of the trash. I thought you made tacos, and your friend was like, you know what? I'm not gonna. I didn't eat a whole taco, and then the taco went in the garbage, and then you ate it. Or did you just think about it, and then you didn't do it? Oh, you ate, you ate a slice of pizza out of the trash. 
This is slander. I didn't eat the taco. I just thought about it. All right. All right. Sorry. Man, you spend a lot of time down here in this game. Is this really the stamina system? Like, if you're low, then you're just gonna have this show up on the screen? Yes, really? Rare space diamonds. Or there's some kind of ancient alien death weapon buried here. If it's diamonds, I'm totally stealing one to get to Jennifer. Oh, shh! Weapon, I get to shoot it first. Why is this so finicky about picking shit up? All right. To be getting longer. That's our race for you. Squeeze every credit they can. Aww. Yeah, right. <gasps> Need some coffee or something? Weightlifting. I'm skilled in this. Right here somewhere. All right, where are we now? 69. Nice. Out of 145. All right. Let's see. Anyone else to bother? Be careful. Nice slippers, bro. They're mine now. You're all gonna be dead soon anyway. It's fine. No, don't sit down. No, no, no. I can't cancel. No, unsubscribe from sitting down. No. Alright, so Balder. This is what they look like. This is a shitty one, though. Alright, you don't want one like this. You want one that kind of has like a little, like, like a, a bulb. Like above, above the rim. Okay? One that looks like this is kind of shit. Man, how is gaming still not figured out mirrors? Nicholas Nickleby, Chapter One, introduces all the rest. There once lived in a sequestered part of the of the county of Devonshire one Mr. Godfrey Nickleby, a worthy gentleman who, taking it into his head rather late in life that he must get married. Todd, what the fuck? Also, we're getting ready for, for space COVID. We're finding all the toilet paper. Oh, this is neat. Like, these are the showers. You hit the button and it comes, uh, pull the little, I don't know what this would be. The string? Ha ha ha. I steal your soap. Man, Mr. B-Tongue really owned Bethesda with what do they eat, huh? <laughs> You don't understand, we have to answer what they eat, where they sleep, how they shower, what they do for fun, how they stay fit, you don't get it. We're, no, we're never getting owned that hard ever again, never again, you know what? God bless him. Glad we were off this rock. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I think it's the Shandification of the Fallout, is it not, in New Vegas? Uh, there's a video by the YouTuber Mr. Beatung, who does not make videos anymore, just based, super based, um, where he speaks about asking questions during world building, like, what do they eat? And if you can't answer a question like that, then uh, your world building need, ha has some work that needs to be done. And he was talking about Fallout 3, and he was he was right, what do they eat? This has been a good run. You lucked out being s s Leave me alone! Leave me alone! Leave me alone! How do I equip fists? Or putting that What's wrong with you? Careful! Careful! Sorry. Those usually ain't so good at picking sights. Oh! <gasps> this time. Whoa, like whoa, 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 whoa! All right, we gonna have a fight, chat. All right. How the toilet paper is right now? Unless there's only one. There's only one way this is acceptable. Is if you have a cat. If you have a cat that doesn't like to tear the toilet paper, but likes to play with it, I, I, can ex I can accept it being like this. But this is the correct way that you should do it if you don't have a cat. If you have a cat that, like, that doesn't like to mess with the toilet paper, then it should look like this, okay? There's, the, the cat exception is the only exception that exists here. It has to look like this all the time. So you guys wipe, wipe your ass? Yeah, we're a bit of a, we're a, bit of a germaphobe around here, yeah. 
If you had to eat dog or cat food, which would you choose? Your choice, if dry or wet. Um, I don't know. Jelly, which one tastes better? I'll trust your judgment. Supervisor's log. It's day two Toxic of August extractor six heretic. Freestar collected three nineteen beta seven five four eight alpha. Sites have been um. fairly painless. New record for us. Okay, we're okay. Now it's including, but remains the weak link. You just can't train away stupid. But she's got a daughter on Mars or someplace and needs the cred, so she gets one more chance. If she does wash out in the end, oh, and there's definitely some promise there. Stranger Things. Take my advice and pack your own suit next run. You always want to be <gasps> choosing your own. Yes. Uh, the suits that are ghost spies are. Well, I mean they work. Oh sh. Uh, what? Oh, we're going. Uh. Uh. No, my shit. No, 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 no. That beer I owe ya. What if I took my helmet off right now? Would I die? Hold on, can I save it? No, we're fine? Oh, okay. Whoa, what'd you f Don't mind if I do. Is that right, cowboy? <laughs> Went on a trip, huh? <laughs> yeah, with my bucket. Well, you could say that the infinite possibilities of the universe are full of everything but coincidences. <laughs> that fun, huh? Not the most gentle push into the great mysteries of space, but hey, been there. Really? Just hand over the credits, and I'll be happy to never see this thing <laughs> ever again. That's why I like it. The scanners on the frontier are reporting a ship coming in hot from orbit. I really thought I'd lost them. Barrett? Fuck it! What? Health is low. Use a med pack by sign by pressing O or zero. Z zero, really. Zero. Oh, I'm okay. Oh yeah, we're snake person. Right here, the new guy found it. Had right, and everything went cool. Just like grabbing those. Is that right, cowboy? Ooh. Went on a trip, huh? A little disappointing, not gonna lie. But reveling in the weird of space isn't everyone's idea of a good time. I get it. Right, I don't think we can just I don't think we can run in and uh and hit them. Optional grab a weapon. Do 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 Oh shit! Where'd it go? How'd it get over there? Get him shit. Yeah, okay. I, you know what? I feel like maybe punching this early on in the game isn't good. You have to get some perks to be able to punch. Yeah. Right, I wonder if you throw this, will it actually explode? You can't throw. Dude!
Whoa! All right, what? What if I'm on the ship when it leaves? I'm gonna make a break for it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get our let's get our cutter on. <laughs> no, nigga! I'm helping. All right, I want to know what happens if you're on the ship when they get ready to take off. <laughs> it's not the tank that kills you, it's the explosion. Yeah! Rip and tear! Man, you guys do no damage. Wait, is there a different gun? Yes! My ship now? Inaccessible. Alright, it's mine. Everyone come in. I've taken the ship. Talk to Barrett. Hey, Barrett, how's it going? Yeah, it's just not gonna go until we get off, and then all of a sudden it's be like, oh, it can move now. Lame. Ooh. Really? Is it just stuck? No! Wait, 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 hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, that's totally doable. Yes! Alright, where are we going? Do 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 oh shit! Oh no! What? Uh oh uh uh Lynn? Lynn help help no. <laughs> Should we do it again? It's actually pretty easy or right, what if we're on a box? Oh damn, the, the turbulence. Holy shit. Uh. <laughs> See you later, space, space Cowboys. How did you get hurt? I killed them all. That was, that was like a ride with all the corpses just suddenly like, like whoop, woof, right, right off the side. That was really funny. Believe me, a quiet job on a rock. Why is it never that simple? You in one piece? Good. Me? I'm just gonna pass out as soon as my heart stops racing. Wait, rescue milk? Rescue Axe and Milk. Red Harvest Milk Stout. Juice Box Milk? A delicious synthetically crafted milk stout. Do you think it's kind of weak that there's not an option to stay on the ship or break into it before it leaves? Sorry, your message scrolled up. Um, I don't know. See, I'm old enough that I played Deus Ex at, at, at an age, like when it came out, that I could appreciate it instead of just seeing it, seeing it as this being janky thing. And I've been pretty much forever disappointed in games like this ever since then, because nothing comes close to giving you that level of freedom and expression in terms of mechanics. But then again, neither does Deus Ex actually after after the first few levels. Like Deus Ex loses steam after after a while. Um, I think that's why I like Prey so much. So all the all the different things that you can do in games like that, um, like we we peaked on that a long time ago. Yes. All right. So two two four. All right. Here we go. Do 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 do. Let's let's get our workout um clothes on. Let's assert our dominance to everyone who lives here by taking off our spacesuit and helmet. Ha 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 ha. Why do you guys need that?
Didn't Heller specifically say there's no oxygen here? And let's just walk around for a bit or just run like this. Because we can hit caps and we can and we can RP walk through Iron Forge. And then we can do this. With some fine work on the pressure. You dug up the artifact, right? That means you saw it. The visions? You're coming with me to Constellation. You're part of this now. What? You think and tell me what this artifact of yours is, I'm in. If you if you'll take me off this damn moon, sign me up. Well wait, I didn't ask for any I didn't ask for this. What is constellation anyway? You ever stare up at the stars at night what's out there? Oh god. Oh well, that's us. That's where we go. So it's a cult. Alright. Hey, um I wasn't gonna bring it up, but we don't exactly know what the artifact might have done to your head, and constellation is really the only group qualified to help. Oh, no, Barrett. No. You think you're just going to take off after the mess you caused? All right. I guess I did just put you all on the Crimson Fleet hit list. How about I stay and I send your Dusty here in my place? What? I, I, I know, I know, but he's not some miner anymore, Lynn. As hey. soon as he touched that rock, something changed. Don't tell me you can't feel it. Uh... Fine. It's a deal. Get out of here, Dusty. You're on to bigger things. <laughs> thanks, every <laughs> thanks for everything, Lynn. <laughs> no way! Not my job. My job is to haul things from one location to another, preferably a long distance. What are you talking about? What about the mine? Don't you need me? No way. Not my don't job. You get it? You don't have a job here anymore. <sighs> Just go, all right? Big None of that's settled. Vasco, get him to the lodge. No deviations unless absolutely necessary, okay? Protocol Indigo. Indigo. Again. Very well. Again. Oh, and hey, take this. You'll find it very useful out there. And it even tells the time. Oh, is it a pip boy? Really? Hey, look at that. The watch fits you perfectly. Now, questions? Press tab to exit dialogue when you're done asking questions. Why me? Why send me? Shouldn't you go? Come on. You're really not at all curious about that light music show you experienced? Why it only affected you? No. Because if you didn't notice, we've all been handling it since with no problem. Maybe it was one the use only. It, Constellation needs that artifact, but they also need you. This mystery is only getting bigger each step we take. And you're uh... part of it now. <sighs> Technically, it's not even mine. Consider it alone. Okay. Vasco will keep you on course. Besides, I'm making an exception since you can tell Constellation about that vision you had. <laughs> even Honkai Star Rail lets you get a special ending where you say no to going on the adventure. Wow. Wow. Can you walk around during conversations like in Fallout 4? I don't think so, no. This feels like a step back from Skyrim and Fallout 4. See, that's the problem for dialogue settled systems too easy to take everything for granted while everyone else is busy playing politics we're the ones braving the unknown charting the vastness of space without us the galaxy is just a big room with the lights turned out no i don't want to go on an exciting adventure no that, friend, the million credit question and constellation can find the answer with your help they're just following the loot, like pirates do. And I have something of a reputation as a loot collector. And Vasco, don't let him break my ship. Okay, did I miss a dialogue option? Or, like, I don't understand how we're breathing right now. I don't get it. What do they breathe? Oh no! Oh, they didn't account for the air! Emergency meeting with Todd. God damn it, you guys. He's back at it. Oh, we can climb up this. Oh, that's neat. Oh, I see chairs. Chairs detected. I love climbing on things in games. In case you couldn't tell. Ho ho! Yes! Alright, where are we going? What's up here? Shh. Wait, what? Oh. Alright, can we pick up something 
and jump on it. No. Do you think there's anything in there? What is this? Oh, there's oxygen in the in the bottom. All right, so so oxygen is is our stamina. Okay. Okay. Even if we get over there, I don't think that's gonna be an improvement. This is only there's anything up there to do, actually. Never mind. Oh, do you think we we could clip through that green thing? No. Maybe I can land the ship on it and then get out. That that would work, right? Because you can free fly around planets, right? Right? One piece. Oh god. Oh. See you later, Heller. Hey. Uh... I like the ship. It looks cool. Oh, can we jump on the bucket? No. I'm bringing my bucket. Just up the ramp, Captain. I'll be in the external robotic. This is going to be a teleport, isn't it? Ooh. Captain, I assume you know how to fly a class A side of a bike. I will attempt to. Did our hair get darker? Out of my adorably cherubic face. And then you discovered the guy you had pegged as a treasure hunter doesn't actually have any treasure. So you get nothing except my ghost. Because I am going to haunt your asses till the end of your days. All right, kind of weird. All right, I like the ship though. I like all like all the details in the walls and the ceiling and everything. It definitely is very NASA punk. They definitely got the NASA punk aesthetic, aesthetic down right. I'm, I'm kind of being a joke by using that term, but I, I actually do like it. I'm being genuine about that. It looks good. Chunks cap. Paper airplane. Cube. Oh, I don't know what I just picked up. Soil box. Med pack. First stop when I get home. But I really need to get better about packing snacks for these long hauls. Some rhubarb boom pop. Irvin always made the best trail mix. Added in little marshmallows for stars. Yeah, there's a sense of practicality around everything that's in the ship. I I'm sure that it wouldn't stand up to, to the test, like the scrutiny of someone who would actually have to design a spaceship that could function and people could live on it, blah, 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 blah. Like, but that doesn't matter. Like, it, it passes enough that I can believe it and look around and think, I see a lot of thought went into this. This is good. I like it. All right, we're gonna fly over there, right? Here we go. Fl oh, we're going to Saturn. Nice. So that pirate was just like, he must have been smashing space bar and it was just getting error after error. No, someone's in the cockpit. Oh, so sorry, someone's in the cargo. Someone's in the cargo. Oh, we can fly. All right. So if you have, if you don't have left alt, uh, held down. You <laughs> fucking hell, robot. For better handling during turns. All right. You'll notice a speed indicator in the lower left with a gauge that goes up and down as you adjust the throttle. Try to center the gauge so that it. Why didn't you just make make the fucking shit like in in the terminals to the, at the bottom of the screen? Uh, with the what do you? Of the vertical bar There's two right there. Right. They're the same size. Oh, we're reversing. All right. Press L shift to boost the ship's speed. Whoa! Alright, cool. Are you familiar with ship combat tactics? Whoa, 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 We will need to disable their shields. Laser-based weaponry is particularly effective. Centered on the HUD, we can log in to fire a homing missile. The enemy shields are down, Captain. Ballistic weaponry excels at damaging the hull once shields are offline. Okay, I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. All right.
Congratulations on surviving your first Starship assault, Captain. We should search the wreckage for spare parts and other salvage. You will need to fly close to it before we can access the remains. How did, how did I get it out? Alright. Oh, that's still here too. Alright. Oh, no, 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 I'm, I'm done. I haven't enough. No, thank you. I'd like to just... No mining? Am I doing something wrong with turning here? Maybe if I put more power into engine, I can turn better. Maybe that's what it is. Oh man, I'm getting wrecked. Uh, I, I really don't like this at the moment, but maybe I need to power my engines up. Let's see, if I power engines up, he said something about a sweet spot with turning, and then before I learned how to do it, I was already, like, in a fight. Oh my god, reverse? Alright, so if I turn right with engines on, no, it doesn't seem like it's any different, does it? Engines at zero, this is how fast we're turning, engines at top, Prognosis can, uh, improved sprain? Alright, can I fly back down to the planet and say, what up, I'm back? Or, or what? This is where we just came from, right? Gotta be. I don't feel like we're getting any closer. Oh, there's that, that, that red planet from Final Fantasy 16. Okay, that's neat. I wonder how much we can upgrade the ship. We can repair it, inspect. Ooh, it's neat. Alright. And crew. Manage your crew, review and change their assignments between your ships and outposts. Different crew have different skills which enhance your ships, your ship or outposts. Alright, ship, current outpost. Alright, so this is, we're not ready for this yet. I'm not seeing a, um, a, uh, a jump somewhere. Star map. Travel between the stars, zoom out to see the entire star system. Zoom out again to see all the stars in the settled systems. Plot a course to, by selecting the star system you want to travel to. Your ship can only jump so many light years at once, so distant star systems may require you to, you to jump uh, to a closer star first. Spaceship debris. Alright, so currently unavailable. Is that where we are, maybe? Alright, so I want to I wanna go there. Fast travel is currently unavailable for this location. Alright, I would like to zoom out, please. Alright, so this is the system that we're in, and we can go out to the whole galaxy. Alright, so are the red ones we haven't discovered yet, and these ones are- or are these ones not part of the settled systems, maybe? No, that one- that one's red. Alright, well, this isn't a galaxy, this is just a star cluster, but okay, it's- it's fine. I don't- I don't need there to be a lot of them. Show me. Alright, I'm here. It's weird that you can't mess over the star and see something about it. So, this is Ancelon, which is a gas giant, I'm guessing. Yeah, the gas giant, there it is. And there are two moons around it, and we were around one moon, and we're going to the other moon, which is Crete. There's a planet, a bunch of planets. Kruth, ice planet, a barren planet with a moon, a rock planet, a barren planet with two moons, Another gas giant with three moons. Oh no, it has star stations. Alright, and what's this one? Rock. Crete Research Lab. I mean, set, for, set course for Crete. Surely we can just jump out, right? There's no way that they're going to be able to stop us from jumping out. Alright, now what? Now we just go? We get out and it's like, okay, plotting course? Or did I have to hit confirm button and I'm dumb? Alright, I'm dumb. Alright. Travel. All right, there we go. Oh no! Really? We have arrived. Press tab to open the menu. From there, you can open the star map. All right, and now, and now what? Now I, 
The planet view of the star map gives you information about the environment. It lets you scan the planet for resources and helps you discover key landing sites. Rotate the planet until the Crete Research Lab map icon is in view, then select the map icon to land there. Oh no! No! Really? No way! Alright, can we take off and, and, and chase it? I don't think it is. I don't think it's gonna let us. Okay, so to, to be clear, I, I wasn't expecting, nor did I want to be able to like fly down from space into into the planet's atmosphere and then like like look around like no man's sky and dynamically land. I didn't I didn't want that. Okay, I, at best I would want to be able to fly around like like a little pocket of area that they designate to each planet and then and then you know choose to fly with the atmosphere and then there's like a loading transition or whatever. Um, but like not being able to fly between planets and explore like a star system like i did want that and i did think i was gonna get that like i thought that's what it was gonna get why not elite, elite dangerous did that almost 10 years ago because i don't i don't want that from this type of game i, I don't want like i'm cool with there just being like a designated zones on a planet and that's what they think is interesting there i don't i don't need like a whole barren planet of nothing endlessly going on in every direction and oh no let's find the fun and it takes fucking 10 minutes like i don't i don't i don't need that shit okay I don't, I don't i don't need that okay if you wanted that that's fine i'm not saying you're wrong to want that i didn't i didn't want or expect that okay but i did think you were going to be able to fly from planet to planet and location in in the star system maybe you still can Maybe, maybe, I, I don't understand it. Maybe this is just tutorial mode and you can do that. Um, but, like, wow. Like, so far, my read on, on planet, uh, like, exploration is that you leave your planet through a, through a load screen into space. Then you open the star map. And then you select the planet you want to go to, go through, then hit a button, and then it does it for you. And then once you're there, find where you want to land on the planet, hit a button, then it does it for you. And that's just, like... That's just so much of a protracted level select that takes all the fun out of exploration. Now, maybe it's going to change. I don't know. We only just did it. Maybe this is a tutorial. Our, like, our freedom is low. But, oh, man. That is pretty disappointing. What's doubly disappointing is that my... Okay, I know that a lot of people play Bethesda games for different reasons, and maybe I'm unusual. I don't know. I feel like I feel like my my enjoyment from these games is, is pretty reasonable, but maybe it's not the only reason. Um... Even Fault 76 provided this for me. I really like Bethesda games where I just wander around and then I will see something in the distance. And I'll be like, ooh, what's that? I want to go and see it. And then I just, I just change direction. And I just walk there. And then I'd be like, what's going to happen here? What story is going to be here? Like, what am I going to find? Like, I like that looks really cool on the horizon. Fallout, Fallout 4 and 76 do that better than Skyrim even. Although Skyrim does it a little bit too, don't get me wrong. I really like that in those games. So if, if they've like taken the Bethesda open world and just like cracked it with a hammer and then put it on like, like dozens of different planets all over the star system and you get them by looking in the menu and being like, hmm, I wonder if there's something good in that planet. That is just removed. Like one of my favorite things about these games because now now it's not looking at something and going that looks cool on the horizon it's like huh let me just roll the dice on this planet and hope there's something good on there like like oh man that that is really bad i was hoping that there was going to be like you could fly around space and you could see like oh that planet looks interesting let me fly over to there and see if there's anything good there what if there's a space station what if there's some anomaly in space and i can just like warp over there real quick and get there like having to look through the map again i, I really want to stress like this is the first time we did it so maybe it's not like that maybe it's fine um, maybe, maybe there's gonna be that later, but right now, from the information I have, I'm I'm really like um... Envo. Oh no, Endovelicus flare. I think I did it. I think I did it. Mathiv Penis is here. Thank you very much. One hour ago, Mathiv Penis was here. I said penis instead of penis. I said penis. All right, the bed expired, so now I can all tab out and show everyone that's here. That I'm here. All right. So, <clears throat> if I take off right now, my understanding is that I'm just gonna go right, like, right back to space, right? Uh, I don't think I can get off while in space and go in the ship. Like I'm not. Oh, if I hold down E. Oh, neat. Okay, I'm glad you can do that. Navigation console. Oh, so instead of going to the menu, you can just go here and do it. All right, that's neat. All right, well, that's uh, that's good. 
Can you do it while thrusting? I can do anything while thrusting. Wonder what happens if you if you do this while you're under attack. Jump C. Wait. Okay, so this is just um waiting around system. Which I really like about Bethesda's games. The uh, you can just wait and let the pa the time pass around you. I always admired how it worked. Alright, well I'm glad we can do this. Alright, so is the only way to land really to go to the navigation console and, and be like, hey, this is where I want to land? Oh, and we're just here now. It doesn't need wow, okay. So I can just immediately exit the ship and it's gonna throw me out. And I'm not wearing any anything. There's an atmosphere here. Okay. Alright, so transfer, and I wanna put all of my shit in here that I don't want to take with me. So weapons. Alright, so I feel like if I'm gonna use a gun, I'm probably gonna use the pistol or the rifle. But I'm I wanna be a fists only kind of person, so we're gonna get rid of the, the axe. And we'll take these in case I have to use one, because I might have to use one. We'll see. Do I have to repair weapons? I guess we'll find out when we get out. Spacesuits? I probably am going to put a spacesuit on. But I'm probably not going to put a helmet on, because I want to see... I want to see exactly... Well, what's this for? F energy... Airborne... What's this? Mining pack? I want to see when the game makes me put a helmet on. For, um... For air. Alright, let's keep the healing paste. Everything else can go in. Am I eating this or storing it? I just ate it all, didn't I? <laughs> Maybe I didn't. Maybe I put it in. I don't know. Uh, so let's let's keep the heal paste. Did I put the heal paste in just then? Oh, maybe left click does store it. Okay, that's good. Miscellaneous. All right, all of this can go in. I don't need any. Contain- What do you mean containers at max capacity? It's a container! Todd! It's a fucking contain- what do you mean? I have to, like, manage multiple containers. Where's my, like, stash box? There's no fucking way- really? Car oh, cargo hold! Alright, here we go. Here we go. Alright, so store. Alright, so now I can store things. Alright. I'm assuming this is gonna be infinite, right? There's no way that this is gonna have a limit, too. Does this really have a limit? Oh my god, really? Why? Why? What- what possible- what possible fucking logic is that? What gameplay reason could they have for that? Can you upgrade it so that it is effectively infinite? Because if that's the case, then alright, that's fine. Alright, I want the handgun to be on one, and I want the rifle to be on two. How do I favorite my fists? Or do I just- do I hit the button? No? Hold it down? R. Unequip, and now I pull out my fists. How do I switch to fists? It's broken. Whoa, alright, it's so weird. So if you hold down R, sometimes it, it, there's a bug and it takes away control of your camera. How do we favorite fists? Just an empty one? Is it, Aren't fists like a, a whole ass skill? Yeah, boxing. Unarmed attacks do 25% more damage, 25% less as you- okay. So, every time I want to use my fist, I have to go into the weapon and, and hit this and then come out? And then do it? That doesn't seem right at all. No way. If that's how you have to do it every single time, then maybe we're not going to be doing that sort of thing. Press the same number, number open. I did that, yeah. I press 1, right? Gun comes out. I press 1 again. Nothing. Press 2. Nothing. Mouse wheel. It does this instead. Camera. Hold R or Q. Oh, the camera's busted again. I can't, I can't move. Right now I'm moving the camera left to right and I, I, it won't, it won't go. Alright, it's working now. Hold 2 to get rid of this, maybe? No, holding is not working. Alright, every single time that I mouse wheel up back into this mode from third person, the camera thing happens. So this is fine, I mouse wheel up and it's busted. How, how do I fix it? Uh, okay, that's really annoying. Holding down R? Holding down R gets rid of it. Alright, maybe there's a, um, maybe there's a, uh, a bindings for fists. Melee. V. So press V and you'll do a melee. But that's gonna be with, with your weapon, right? Yeah, alright, I don't, I don't, that's not what I want. But we're getting closer. Secondary attack. Throw a grenade, activate. Sheath weapon doesn't do it, because when I hit the weapon button, it comes out again with, with the weapon instead of fists. No, I'm not seeing it. Okay. I mean, considering that melee is its own skill in the tree, that seems like a bit of an oversight that you don't have like a button that you can immediately switch to melee, right? Maybe there is one and I just didn't see it. You can't equip fist to hop bar. If you can, I don't know how to do it. If you hold down B, maybe, maybe the, it'll come up. No. 
store your weapons and try to press R? Shit, I just took something. <laughs> the fire extinguisher! What's a digi pick? Like a lock pick? I want to be able to fist. Alright, where's the gun? Maelstrom. Alright, so now I have no guns. Alright. Alright, so now R puts, puts it down. With no gun, going back in here works. What about with fists? Alright, so it's the it's the gun that's doing it. What if you hold down V? Oh, V with fists out is like an uppercut instead of a instead of a normal punch. Alright, that's cool. Alright, let's get guns. I just fucked it up again. Guns out. Will the bug be back? Yep. Okay, it's, it's holding down V. Let's hold down V. Soreness. Why am I sore? Why am I sore? What'd I do? Did I cook too hard? You're old? Can I can I rest up before I go? You know what? I'm gonna sleep for eight hours. I'm tired. No wait for me, right? They saw us land. Just fuck it. Set course. Set sail for fail. Resources. Oh. Set landing target. What? Can you just land anywhere that there's resources on a planet and set up a mining base, maybe? Hmm, okay. How do I see the favorite menu? Didn't Skyrim let you see the favorite menu? Or was that a mod and part of Sky UI? I can't remember. Honest to God, I can't even remember playing Skyrim without Sky UI at this point. So maybe maybe that's a part of it. Q? Q. Alright, Q. So can I can I set can I set something to No, I can't. Wouldn't it be like really intuitive that when you're when you're when you're playing the game that you press this uh, you you open this menu and then you go hey i want to assign something to this 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 one let me press it and let assign but instead no it does this if it's empty if it's full maybe you right click on it instead okay i don't know guys i think maybe the fist only run is, is dead because this is going to be really annoying especially considering i don't know if we're going to be able to use fist right at the start but let's let's go and see how it goes All right, can i loot this plant I can! Oh, what's that? I'm gonna punch it! I'm gonna punch it! Yeah! Is it trilobite or trilobite? Really? Alien planet and we went with tri- Can I do that? Is it possible to learn this power? Oh, I probably should have kept my mining laser. What if we find like a like a node? Oh no, silver deposit! God damn it! Now I have to go back to the ship. Look at look at me at my character just angry waddling back to the ship, being like, "God damn it! Forgot my mining laser." And every time I use the mining laser, I'm gonna have to go back into the inventory and hit unequip in order to use my fists. God damn it! Just use the scanner and left click, it automatically equips the cutter for the duration of the scanner. Oh, does it? Surface map. Uh, okay, this this is like worse than useless. Okay, thank you very much. This looks like one of those things in a science center where you put like your, your hands through the pins and it'll make it appear on the other side. What 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 is this? Oh. Oh god. It hurts my eyes. Okay. Omnifair. I'm trying to be Omnifair. What's this? Can I mine it? No. Lead. We found some lead. Silva. Alright. Alright, what's that over there? Alright, so this this is... Okay, where even am I? Alright, so that's really far away. And instead of, like, flying there, I'm gonna walk. Alright, so this is the objective. The, these are unknown. Alright, so what's the unknown? Let's go. Let's go into the unknown. I like to explore. I like to see the unknown. Alright, so if I left click while the scanner is out, I automatically use the cutter, alright? And then when I put the scanner away, it's gone. And when I hit left, it's gonna bring back back, back my fist, right? Yeah! Alright, saved. Oh, how come I can scan this dust root? But I couldn't scan the one before. Water. Uh, how did we do that? I don't think that's drinkable. I think it is. Common inorganic resource. This item can be used as a component in crafting. I would like to drink it. Oh, the chatter was right! Man, I hate it when chat's right. This game sucks. It made chat be right. Oh. 
Gas vent. Lung damage. Okay, I don't know how important it is to mine all this shit, so I'm not going to. Hazardous weather sandstorm. Oh, that's pretty, huh? Oh, so this is just another base. I thought it was going to be maybe like an alien ruin or something. Okay. I have a feeling we're going to be using the scanner a lot. I wonder if there's fall damage on lower gravity here. Why are we coughing? Why are we coughing? Just just random cough. Alright. That looks weird over there, huh? Like a dark pillar? Kit. Oh no. Does this go on forever? Can I call my um my ship to me or fast travel back to it? Probably, right? Okay, can't break the um the big ones. Okay, uh, has anyone? Uh, th there must be a couple people in chat at least that have played this game um and gotten further than me and done this planet. Uh, was this the same for you when you got here? Is this is this procedurally generated? The stuff that you find when you when you walk? Poor quality air sandstorm. Okay. HNCN alkanes. I don't know what that means. What does that mean? Oh. You're a tough one to track down. Oh no, I'm wanted! What? Wanted? I don't I, I don't know who you think I am, but you're about to find out. How about you just walk on by, stranger, and forget you saw me? We can sell this peacefully, no one has to get hurt. What do you mean I'm wanted? What? You don't know your own history. You must have done something to put all those zeros on your bounty. And it doesn't matter. I don't care what you did, only what you're worth. Uh, okay. I don't know who you think I am, but you're about to find out. Alright. We can sell this peacefully, no one has to get hurt. You should have thought of that before you put your face on a wanted poster. I didn't do that though. Anyway, since you seem confused by our presence, I'll break it down for you. Good question. I'd say two thousand credits would be enough to make us forget we ever saw you. Or we could just collect it the old fashioned way. That's true. <laughs> you seem confused about the situation, so let me explain to you that you have a, a bounty on your head. Yes, here we go. Who put the bounty on my head? Does it matter? Why don't we just say your mother did it? I'll send her your remains with a card. You can fit way more than 2,000 credits in an Ashta, moron. Okay. Well, then how about we kill you and find out? Alright, I'm gonna die. Your health is low, yeah. Alright, they're level 5. It's not looking good for the uh, for the punching astronaut run, chat. We're, uh, it's like, how did they even just appear? Where were they? Is that what the ship is? Can I steal their ship? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. There's, they're not here. It's the robot. No! Run, 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 run. Where the hell did you guys come from? Remote industrial site. Location discovered. Alright, let's quick save. Yeah! Alright, here we go. Let me scan this. Hey guys. Do 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 Don't mind if I do. Alright. This looks like a nice ship. Do 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 My god, it has ladders. Dude. 
So ist nichts mit zu sagen hier. Out of ammo. Okay, I don't think this is a punching game, chat. I don't think we can do it. I don't. Th I don't think it's a punching game. I'm upset. All right, what if we divide and conquer? What if we like lure one here? My God! No! Shh. Not looking good. They're level five. I think we need. I think we need to level up a little bit. A little bit, and then after we level up, then maybe we can transition over to fists. I don't know. This is. There's this, no way it's doable. Will they follow me down the ladder? Maybe, and then I can punch them as they're trying to come down the ladder. Superfood paste kit. Ooh, that sounds good. Battle meal multi pack. Oh man, coffee. Oh, this is good. Superfood paste set. Oh, we're we're making out like bandits here. Styrofoam containers. I love those. We're not on Earth. We can use them. All right, maybe we can sneak. Maybe this stealth. Hold on. One down, one down, save it. We quick save, heal. Two down, two down. Heal. We did it! Level two! Well earned. Well earned. Level two. The obvious choice is probably something like, you know, persuasion. You know what? I really want to do some cooking. <laughs> I honestly, I feel like the most important thing we could do right now is find a way to develop healing because until we get our fist damage way up higher which which we will take boxing i feel i feel like we need to make sure that we are able to heal a lot is there any way to um to get like uh regenerating health like boxing seems like the right one to do right but let's see fitness um more oxygen that's it just 10 percent more oxygen on our attacks do 25 percent more damage 25 percent less, less used okay so if we get this do we just we unlock the ability to get ranks. Unarmed attacks do 100% more damage and have a chance to knock down opponents. Oh man. Running consumes 30% less O2. All right, that seems pretty good. Let's get it. Rank one available. All right, we got it. We're now a boxer. All right, so what, what's the challenge? Kill 20 enemies with an unarmed attack. And then what happens? What, is, what does the challenge do? I'm confused what the challenge does. Does the challenge let us unlock the... Complete the previous rank challenge to unlock this rank. Oh, okay, so doing the challenge, you have to do the challenge and have, have a skill up in order to to level up um, for the next one. Okay. 
because right because right now rank two available but i need i need a skill point to do it okay that makes sense all right so is there anything that that makes it so you have regenerating health stealth stealth might be pretty good um weightlifting increases okay gain 50 percent resistance to stagger that seems really good wellness no energy damage is just these are boring as hell aren't they what the fuck? Rank four should be rank one, and then make it fun after that. What? The, what's this shit? This is not a, a criticism of just the this game, by the way. A lot of games have this problem where leveling up and getting the the, pa the perks and ranks are just fucking boring as hell. Okay, that seems pretty good. Resistance to airborne environmental damage. All right. Gymnastics. Move faster. All right, that's good. I like gymnastics. Nutrition. Food and drink are more effective. All right. Where's the um, the gourmet one? That's broken. Pain tolerance. Physical damage reduced by 15. 5% chance to ignore physical damage when your health is low. Oh, that's good. 20% chance to not gain it, not getting an injury when you otherwise would. That seems pretty good considering how often the injuries are. All right. Can I just like hit E to go to the next one or no? I have to go back out. Mar oh, martial arts. Oh my God. There's two and it's a snake. It was meant to be. There are, there are two fucking unarmed trees oh man 15 percent increased chance to crit holy shit reflect 50 percent damage when blocking or a melee or unarmed attack oh man that's good concealment engaging in stealth causes distant enemies to lose you <laughs> neuro strikes oh there's a third one 10 percent chance to stun an npc with an unarmed attack See these people, I'm gonna go see, see someone who's not trolling. There's, there's three trees devoted to this build. There's three trees. Three skills. After stunning an enemy, you will knock down any enemies within close range. Oh man, it's like an AoE knockout punch. Oh man, everyone, everyone's gonna respect the fact that I went to the moon. Rejuvenation. All right, slowly regenerate health outside of combat. Slowly regenerate health more quickly outside of combat. Regenerate health much faster outside of combat. You can now slowly regenerate health while in combat. All right, this seems really good for us because we're going to be taking a lot of damage doing our, our, um, our shit. All right, so I think we should probably do this. Rejuvenation is the next one to do. However, it's like the bottom of the tree. What does that mean? Spend 10 more points in physical to unlock master physical skills. Okay, so if we spend four here and then that'll unlock that. And then we can get gymnastics and then martial arts and then rejuvenation. Oh, baby, we got a build going. All right, I think that's it. I think, oh, what, is there any in combat for, uh, for melee? Dueling. Melee weapon. What is a fist if not a melee weapon, right? Your fists have to be weapons. Crippling. Human enemies have a 30% increased chance to enter a down state after taking enough damage. All right, what does that mean? Previous ranks now apply to all enemy types. Uh, you now do 100% more damage to downed enemies. Specifically targeting the pressure points and nerves of various limbs can disable an opponent, limiting their combat effectiveness. That that sounds like melee to me. Attacks, un ignore armor. I, th I think it just says damage. It just says damage. I think, I think we can do it. Science. The science of hitting people. Medicine. Medicine seems pretty good to get to. Medicine. Surveying. Alright, there's a lot here. Tech. What's the new tech? You are not authorized to pilot the ship. Uh, I disagree. I think I am. Here we go. How about now? No? Gold. So are these even the bounty hunters? I think they probably are, right? You know, I hate to say this because it might be kind of a, a shit take, but something I really appreciate, I think it's in PUBG, isn't it? That you can go and you can loot a room and you can just press a button while you're in a room and it'll just tell you everything that's in the room. Like, maybe it can tell you what's in it, but maybe not some secret secret uh, things. Sometimes looking around the room can get pretty tedious after, you know, 50 hours. And right now it's fun, but I'm worried it won't be later on. Scan. Oh, can you scan? I feel like it's making it worse for me to process everything that's in the room. We got a lot of stuff in the cargo hold, though, didn't we? What was that? All right, sealed container. Don't care. Sealed container. Don't care. Meal kit. I'll take meal kits. Oh, man. Light cans. These are worth 155. 75 damage resistance for three minutes. <sighs> Milk. You know what? You're right, Shadow. The scanning does help. The fact that it highlights it in blue, you can see it when you move over, right? It's like, yeah, that's something I could pick up. Yeah, that does help. Thank you. 
Oh, tape measure. That's really good to have. Just in case we run into Elon. Where are they? Did they despawn? Oh, this is to the objective. Oh, okay. All right, so what's here? Oh, shit. Greetings, Weaves. What's going on? Uh-oh. All right, you know what? What if I lure you to the fire pit vent thing? Do 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 do. Is it doing like a little passive damage to them, do you think, or no? Like what do you like no it's not it's not <laughs> What if what if I get like so close on like behind the other one? Yes, what? Yeah, hey, how's it going? <clears throat> hey, how's it going? Okay. <laughs> hey. Hey. Okay, you know what? Ambush? Excuse me. Oh, you guys can heal too? Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. Oh, no. All right. Does the council... Is the council fine with the fact that the robot will shoot? Like, I can't really, like, make the robot go away right now. Like, that's out of my control, right? What if I took the robot's ammo away with the robot punch? Oh... <laughs> go, go get him, Vasco. Go get him. You can, you can do it, buddy. I believe in you. Go get it. Oh man, look at the motion blur. No, Vasco, no. Rip and tear. Rip and tear. Toilet paper! Yes! Vasco's okay. Where is he? Oh shit! <laughs> yes. All right, one more. So oh shit! Dead. Got it. All right, so. If I loot their bodies, so I also get their gun. So this is modified. Vasco, you made it. That's good. All right. So do I also get their gun? So let's see. It's right there. I do. Okay, good. So it's like Skyrim and Fallout. We should continue. How can I be of assistance? Okay. I want. I want all of your your ammo. All right. So now you can only punch. You gotta stay in the air as much as possible. I recommend equipping reverse jointed leg. <laughs> I'm actually, I don't know why, maybe, again, maybe it's because I just, I just have played so many games like this, especially Bethesda games. I'm actually really enjoying, like, like, thinking strategically about how to, like, dodge, get behind them, flank them or anything, and being using fists instead of, like, just standing there and just shooting them in the head. I don't know, it's more fun. I knew he could do it strong Terry strikes again. We are definitely a strong Terry build right now. 
What the hell's that? <gasps> Alright, let's save it because we died. Oh, uh, it's because we succeeded. Check the wanted poster? How do I check the wanted poster? Oh, did he have it on his inventory? I didn't even, like, um... To all soldiers of fortune, I want Waffles Buzz Upon dead. A large sum of credits will be added to your account upon confirmation of the kill. To add to the game, this number will increase by a set amount every week. I know what you're thinking. The longer you wait, the higher the bounty. But ask yourself, will the next hunter be as patient as you? Ooh. I wonder if this is a story that you can resolve. Or if it's just like... It happens. Forever. Why don't I have a flash? Oh, it's because I don't have a helmet! Oh no. You can do it. Shipment, who ordered the toilet paper? Yeah, for real, right? Oh, it's Marker Chan. Uh, so what is there to do here? Is there an entrance that I'm missing? Like, this was a point of interest, and I don't think that th that they were the reason to come here. That's just because I had the, the trait. So are these points of interest just random shit will happen when you get here? Or is there an entrance I'm missing? I didn't see any loot here when we got here. You found a ship? Yeah, but I think the ship is because of the... Um, the the perk that we have not because it's meant to be here maybe the ship is is was uh, unrelated well that's not set up right i suppose it makes sense that you can't steal the ship synth meat turkey but it is kind of weird that we like took the ship and there's no like oh try to hack it and then you can take it maybe you can hack it and i just don't have the hacking skill okay uh i have to scan to open the map that's weird all right do we want to go and see what's like what's in this one how far does this go? Can I fast travel back to the ship? Fast travel the ship R. Okay, we can. All right, let's just keep going then to see if more appears. You can auto auto run. What is it? Q? No. Uh, I remember sending auto run Skyrim to caps lock. What's the what's the hockey for it? Num lock. Oh my god, it is num lock. <sighs> Didn't Bethesda get their start on PC? Alright, that's 100% scanned. So there, there's two types of flora that we're, we're actually missing that we haven't even found yet. That's interesting. I wonder where where those are. Maybe they're in the cave? We also haven't seen any of those tri trilobites since the very beginning. Oh, I hear bullshit. Let's quick save. Cave. Oh boy, I don't know what that is, but I know we're going to punch it. Here we go. This will go well. Let's quick save again. Let's heal up. Hey, dude, what are you? Terror Morph. It makes you feel like you're fighting a Red Skull Wyvern in Witcher 3. Oh no! Oh, I'm out of healing paste! Hold on, let me eat some cheese wheels. Alright. Uh, damage resistance! Yeah, let's let's drink a brewski. I'm a trucker. Meal kit restores 5 health. Oh, we're dead. Alright, never mind. Alright, I think this is, um, I think this is beyond me. I don't think we can kill it. And even if I can kill it, it's gonna take forever. I'm a little upset. Is shooting just, like, baby mode? Oh my god, even shooting it is, is like, it's not... He's a tanky boy, even with shooting it. Oh, he can shoot too! Yeah, um... <laughs> uh, I don't think we can kill it. <laughs> I don't think we can kill it. Like, it's just like, we're not we're not a high enough level to kill it. Can we go in the cave and loot its secrets? Oh, there's a load screen for the cave. So, they're just death claws. Alright, silver, neon. I'm gonna have to put a helmet on chat as much as I'm annoyed that I don't I don't have one do I, I didn't bring one Oh, I found one off of the off of the the Raiders. All right, All right There we go. Wow. It, it, it's so much better. We can't see anything. I can't see anything either Crete grazer 
Dung pile. Toxin, structural material, fiber. Oh, wow. Like, neon vent. I wonder if she'd be picking this up while we're here. Okay, sorry, I am I know it might be a little frustrating to watch me just wander around like this, but this is how I usually play these games, and I feel like that's kind of the intended experience, but I do want to push the main quest. I'm just distracted by how the game works. All right, is that, is this all that's in here? Really? Is there a map? No, there's really, okay. Oh, I wonder if the if the, if the the laser gun is good at the boss outside because, um, oh, uranium, oh, nice. Because it has infinite ammo. Oh, cobalt as well. All right, maybe this is what you come in here for, the, the rare materials and to scan the, the grazers. I was like expecting a, like a fight in here or maybe um, like a treasure chest or something, but this is kind of weird, isn't it? Expecting a vault in a cave? Yeah, or a vault, yeah, with a, with a nice little story inside. I mean, it would be if it was made by Obsidian, but you know, maybe it'd be something. Okay, is that it? Oh man, the lack of like any completion thing going on when is like killing the gob the goblin brain in me like fucking hell. Oh, I also want to kill the the, the terramorph outside, but I don't think I can. Yeah, this is doing nothing. Pirates. Oh, okay. If we punch it and we get crits, I think we can take it down. Can we fast travel back here now that we have it unlocked? Explored. Okay, so we can fast travel. We can fast travel back here when we get some levels. I, I think this is beyond us right now, chat. We're doing like no damage to it. So, oh yeah, we should scan the Terramorph. Okay, it's not letting me scan it. I don't think you can scan it. Oh, I'm uh, I'm over encumbered. That's why I'm losing shit. Okay. Uh oh. When when did we get this? Oh, it's not very good. Looks cool. It does look cool, doesn't it? It's better against energy and EM. I'm personally having a, a decent time, but I think I was having a much better time in Skyrim and Fallout 4 at this point. It's a better Outer Worlds. I'm getting some Outer Worlds vibes too. Yeah, I would agree with that. I also would agree it's better than Outer Worlds so far. I like it except menus. I feel like there's just not enough character uh, in the location that we're in. It's just very barren. And if you want that, then maybe that's a good thing. That's going to be a plus for some people because they'll be like, oh, I, I want to explore planets like this. But it just feels kind of weirdly like, oh, there's nothing here. But then all of a sudden there's a base here for, for some reason. You know, it's like, okay, what's that all about? Um, I don't know. I'll see how it feels as we as we go with it. But so far, uh, I feel like the exploration is going to be pretty weak for me. And that's why I like to play these games. I should always be jumping too, right? The jump is too high though. I didn't know when I was like um, agreeing to this that it was going to be this really weird alien egg. Uh oh. So when we pick up the alien egg, is, some, is, is mommy going to come and kill us? Digipack and sealant. Alright, I'll take a digi a digi pick. Canuck bacon. Ooh. Is it female? male Alright. Hello? I don't know what you are, but I'm gonna punch you. Okay, do you want it back? Okay, um... Oh, why is it blue? Chameleon, blend in with the environment while sneaking and not moving. Oh, okay, so some, some armor sets have stats on, uh, have perks on them and stats on them, special bonuses. Okay, so is it gonna be the same epic and, and legendary? Okay. I went to the moon, goddammit! Alright, dead. Oh, that was easy. Wonder how level scaling is gonna work in this. Alright, it says this is a cave. Explored. Where's the cave? Oh, there is another one! Okay. I don't know. I've never streamed a game like this before, I don't think. And also, I've never watched anyone else uh, stream this game either. I think that maybe Bethesda games just aren't really good stream games in general for an audience perspective. I think it's good to watch to see what, it, like, early on to see what it's all about. But maybe they're just more fun to play. 
for enjoying the game vicariously through them. Joe the robot is Lydia. Oh, I understand. I understand. I understand. You're right. What am I doing? Robot. It occurred to me that you I will accept any and all items. Just tune in. How's the jank? It hasn't been that janky. It, it, there has been some jank, though. But, you know, early days. Let's see where it goes. I wonder if I can get... If I took the, the, the pack off... I wonder if I would be able to jump lower, and then I would be able to jump more often for my snake perk. No, it's the same. What does this do then? Is it just defense? I thought it would make me hover. Did he just heal? Alright, this is the cave. Alright, what's in the cave? Oh. Okay, so when it says biome complete, there are different biomes on this planet, so I have to go to another part of the planet to find a plant? Is that what that means? Or is that all that's down here? These caves are not worth it so far, unless there's something really good in that dung pile I didn't see when I picked it up. I'm guessing that what happens is, is that scan the planet, show resources, right? So there's like, right now we're in the, we're in the volcanic biome, but we could go over to the mountains biome, right? So we can just land somewhere else on there. Volcanic, frozen volcanic. So this, there are three biomes. There's volcanic, there's mountainous, Frozen volcanic. So if we went to the frozen volcanic, there's going to be a plant we can get there that we can scan. And if there's one on the mountains, there's one on the mountains as well. Okay. Okay. Let us. Um. Let's go back to the ship. Let's fast travel back to the ship and see what that looks like. All right. We're back. Oh, it just puts you right on it. All right. So let's get up. Break time. Has it been another two hours already? Holy shit. Yeah. We can take a five minute break once I get everything in my inventory. Oh my god. These games, time flies. All right, so then, uh, oh wait, where's uh, where's our robot? Oh god, damn it! While I am programmed for con there is room in my uh, take all, please. This has been a slower opening so far, and the space combat was a little weird. The justification for you just going on this space journey it feels really shit to me, and doesn't make sense. Um. Ooh, Canuck bacon! It is pea meal. It is pea meal. All right, let's uh, store this until we get the uh, the health increase. Treats contusions, lacerations, and puncture wounds. All right, that seems pretty good to uh, to keep. I love the packages, by the way. Can we can we look at them? Inspect X. I love this shit. I love packages. Very NASA punk. Store all resources. Alright, cool. So you can store all from a category. Alright, I like that. Although, it's still not, you know, as good as, um... As good as Terraria auto stacked to your chests. This is just, like, one of the greatest things that's ever been done in a game in the history of gaming. Like, like no joke. Like, oh my god, that is just, like, like the quality of life. I, I, I think that might be, like, like top five that I've ever seen. Maybe even number one. I don't know. Like, it's just the best feature ever. Status effects. Right now, we have a cough. Sporadic O2 damage and detection event. All right, why do we have that? Lung damage, prognosis stable. All right, do we need to get to like a med bay or something to get rid of that? Or does it just go away? Let's see if it goes away. If you're reading this, you're cute. Oh my God, I'm cute. And thank you, Oomphy Boomphy, for the reason. <laughs> oh, slow sleeping ever. I know, right? I don't remember this being this, uh, this being as slow in um, the other games, but maybe it was. Are you sad you can't sleep as well as Buzzapon? Yes, very sad. I wish I could uh, have this power. Like, like legitimately, I wish I, I could. All right, still lung damage. All right, so what does that mean? Do I have to like go to a med bay or go to a doctor? Are these like permanent ailments that are stuck on your character until you get someone that can treat it or you can uh, treat it yourself if you're a doctor? Hmm, hold on, let's go for skills and see. I'm really surprised that that didn't go away there. Med packs, trauma packs, and emergency. Oh, it's like uh, it's like a thing in uh, it's like losing a limb in um in New Vegas, I bet, right? You need you need a, a limb re rep kit or whatever the fuck it was. All right, so do we have any of those? Granola mix injector, 
Treats brain injury, concussion, heat stroke, hernia, hypothermia, lung damage, poisoning, and radiation poisoning. Okay, so that, that's what we do. So if we use an injector. Okay. Lung damage cured. All right, so so there's a system of ailments that seem to be permanent on your character. Maybe there's some way to get rid of them by going to a doctor, or maybe you can get a skill that can do it. Um, but that's that's neat. I like that. That's a cool system. All right, so we're we're free, right? We our mass is um, our mass effect is low, and the robots free too, or, or or empty. So let's go to the base and and do it, and let's let's push the main story for probably the rest of the stream, unless I get distracted by something. Are right, we just gonna walk up to the front door and say, hey, let me in? Yo, what up? It's your boy, Waffles Buzz Upon. I wonder if you can mark what you need for a research um, thing and it'll show up. Oh, we have a hat. Marketing some research projects. Yeah, I think I think you uh, that would be good if you can do that. If you can't do that, I'll be happy. Or right, do you want to go over there instead? That doesn't look like I can do it. Maybe if I jump up there. No coyote frames. Every game that has a jump should have some coyote frames. All right, here we go. This is easier. All right, let's save it to save some time because I'm gonna fuck this up. Yeah, I think that's possible though. Ooh, it's not. Okay. Can we jump on you? No. Okay, I thought maybe you could get on the roof. It looked like- th this cliff looked like there was like an alternate way to get in, but I guess not. I guess we're trying to force something here. I have to happen here. Right, never mind. I don't want- I don't- like, I really genuinely don't want to- to try to, to break it too much. Okay, I'm surprised that we can just walk in. Empty chunks packaging. God damn it. Ooh, a book. All right, are there skill ups from the books? I mean, skill up didn't get a, a review code, but maybe, you know, we can still get some from books. Heat leech. Can I scan you? No? Okay, I'm a little annoyed that I can't scan. Okay, so if you weren't here for earlier in the stream, the reason we're here is to put an, a stop to the pirates that keep sending spaceships after us. Are we in the wrong building? Because this doesn't feel right at all. This is where they're sending ships from to, to try to kill us? Oh, I want to pick up everything. God damn it. Ooh, a cred stick. Mondays, am I right? Did Skillet genuinely not get a review code? Uh, so I heard, yeah. I heard that almost every outlet, or maybe even every outlet in the UK, also did not get a review code. Huh. Three polymer. You can't build anything with three polymer. You need, like, thousands and thousands. I'm starting to think someone beat us to it, Vasco. This or Tears of the Kingdom so far? Notice me that upon? Um... Oh, this is gonna make people angry. Um, this. <laughs> Sorry, if it was this or Breath of the Wild, or this, but I ha or Tears of the Kingdom, but I hadn't played Breath of the Wild, then then those for sure. Okay, you have to understand, Tears of the Kingdom re reusing the same map as Breath of the Wild is a cannot be overstated how high a negative modifier that is to the experience for me like 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 oh my god but so but if it was brand new then then yeah that for sure easily no, no close uh, nowhere close no no contest uh is that true hold on how far were we in tears of the kingdom at this point i think we had just left the the tutorial island um, no, I think I would go with Tears of the Kingdom, because I hadn't realized yet that the re the map reuse in Tears of the Kingdom was, was, uh, not very good. Um, so that, but a little later, like maybe like four hours later, ask me again in four hours and we'll see. Okay.
Let's go. Let's go. What are you, what, dude? What are you? What? What? what okay. Oh, we're going. All right. Who, who, where are we dropping? I desperately need that that um, skill that lets us have uh, ooh playing cards. I really like playing cards. There's something really kind of like romantic about playing cards. I really like playing cards. Lily and I used to play cards all the time, and now we don't have time because of those stinking smelling kids. Is that a espresso machine or or you know what? It's probably a food paste dispenser, right? Teach them to play cards. I should play. I should teach Finn and Leo to play cards. I think they'd probably be ready for it. Vending machine, seventy-five credits. Drink your orange juice. Really? Boom pop reactor added. Boom pop reactor. Restores three health, 14% OT recovery. Okay, this was not worth the credits. What about bridge? I don't know how to play bridge. I'm a, I'm a card game normie. Can I hack it? No? Just gonna go take my milk to the toilet. Will you make a video on Heisenberg's uncertainty, uncertainty principle? Almost certain. Almost certainly, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. That's the only thing that is certain. The water tastes funny. Uh. Scientist lag, day three. I don't know what's going on on this Mordor mountain, but there's something wrong with the shadows. It's like they're taking on a land of their own. Oh no, what's that? It's the Scorch Rock! <laughs> <gasps> a board game. I've never heard of that one. There's a lot of board games I'd like to try. I really like board games, but I've just never really had, um... Oh, shit. No! Fill all the open slots in every layer to open the lock. Select the key and rotate it until it lines up with the gaps in the security layer. Slot the key to fill in the gaps. Each key can only be used once. Uh... Excuse me? I... I don't understand. Am I supposed to preemptively... Well, that's the only one that works there. Am I supposed to? Am I, am I supposed to plan for what locks I'm going to use, and then use them appropriately? That seems like the right thing. So I can't use the one on the on, on the middle left. I can't use the one on the middle right, and I can't use the one. On, so it has to be this one. All right. All right, and then can I change which one I'm doing? Slot key undo. Oh, did I already mess it up? Yeah, this doesn't fit, does it? Can I change? Oh, I can change it. Okay. That one. All right, that one. That's weird that there's not like a, a thing down here to switch it with your with your um with your keyboard. All right, that's not a bad mini game. All right, let's take it all. Oh man, someone in Bethesda asked while they're at this research station, what do they play? How would they moisten the air? The science of sand. Huh. Oh, the computer, yeah. You're kidding, right? You're kidding? We got our first extraterrestrial candidate today. What appeared to be a, an alien form of Lucage Venusta, essentially a giant spider. Michelson, in full protective gear, attempted to attach the neural control interface, NCI. Our security detail is still trying to remove him from the cocoon. We have no choice but to put down the creature. I can't wait to see the Reddit the Reddit thread about this. Oh my god, does anyone else hate, hate the terror morphs? So, yeah, whenever they show up, man, it makes it makes me wish for a, a, an, an arachnophobia mode. Todd, please, we have to get this. Oh, I can't even play. I've been having nightmares about them for the... A minor step, I never suspected success on the first try. Um... We're moving! Packing up shop and transitioning the entire operation. It's happened so fast, my head is spinning. The work on the arthropods has been so successful, we're actually relocating to their home world. What? We'll have an unlimited supply of creatures for the Zen Zen Xeno Warfare Division. I've been named Senior Xeno Biologist. That means I'll be running the entire facility. My first instinct was to tell Amanda. I'm still not used to her not being there. So, you broke up, I guess? I'll give 
Michelson credit, the guy really went to bat for me. He let the mass, the masked brass <laughs> know that it was my work tuning the neural control interface that was instrumental in controlling the arthropod. Okay, I feel like I didn't read that right. I guess Paulson is being forced to retire. Good riddance. All right. This this was it. All right. So they're they're trying to control aliens here. All right. Is this important? Maybe. I guess so. It's the the, the first area. So this feels like a vault. <gasps> coffee, coffee, coffee. This shit needs to be like I don't want I don't want to be hyperbolic, but I feel like for video game writing, a lot of video game writing is this, right? And I feel like it is a very worthwhile investment for gaming as a whole to find a way to effectively give you this experience in like one tenth of the time that it just took me to read all that getting like logs like that and reading through them and finding stuff that you can read on terminals is a worthwhile experience and i like it a lot and i think that it should be a part of games i don't think it should be gone but this is just like too much way too much like it needs to be way more succinct still have some character just straight to the point like outer wilds outer wilds is a really good example actually outer wilds did it really well yeah i like that a lot um i don't i'm not saying they all have to be audio logs although that might work for some games as well um audio logs have the problem that an audio log can can occasionally well not occasionally often root you in the same place that that a text log will because you don't want to move forward because what if someone just starts talking to you in the middle of the middle of the audio log you can't you can't safely move forward without risking yourself losing your place in the audio log and you have to go back for it um i feel like this the skills develop need to be developed here are particular for video games with like cutting lore understanding it and cutting it down to be as short as possible maybe them like like Outer Wilds does it really well uh because it's a conversation there's there's a back and forth to it there's there's more character to it as well i don't know there's a place for this but man i don't like this at all this implementation Again, not not unique to um, to, uh, to to Bethesda games, not unique to this game. Um, at least the computer terminal looks a lot better than it does in Fallout 4. I fucking hate the computer terminals in Fallout 4 and Fallout 3. Like they hurt my eyes to do so much fucking reading on those terminals. Neon green on black is like oh, after so long. Why data pawn? No play Xenoblade Chronicles uh, Criticals 3, man. <laughs> I'm surprised that uh, yeah. Choose your chunks. Now with sauce. Eh, fuck it, I need it. I'm surprised that the uh, the data pump thing is, uh, has endured. Thank you, Lily. Okay, go into sneak mode. Vasco, sneak mode? Sneak? What? Oh ho! I can't see. Oh. Oh. Okay. Is that is that a mech? I don't think we can punch that. Okay. I have a, a very important question for you, chat. Assuming that we're gonna find some, because I thought of the explosives. Is the Buzz Aldrin roleplay allowed to use grenades? I think yes. I think a grenade is like, it's like the sh it's like the size of a fist. It's a portable punch. No, only as a melee weapon. Hmm. Okay. Only gauntlet weapons. If I find a fist weapon, am I allowed to use that? Or do fists mean fists? Oh, that's a tough one. working pretty well, isn't it? I'm having fun with this build. Weapon case. Aw, oh, we can't use it. The poll is two, in, two to three in favor of grenades, sire. <laughs> Alright, how about we use grenades sparingly? Like, otherwise it's gonna be we're a grenade run instead. Occasional grenade. Alright, am I allowed to do this?
That's gotta be allowed, right? It's encouraged. Okay, does, do the flammable gas canisters have a timer on them too? Nope. No, they do not. They do not. <laughs> okay, chat. Oh, chunks! I gotta say, chat, I'm surprised. Is that a food printer? One of the worst things about the game so far is the flashlight. Like, this is a... This is a very bad flashlight, is it not? We need we need to mod a uh, a better flashlight into the uh, into the game. The first one to do that is going to be at the top of uh, Nexus mods for for this flashlight Chan. Actually, <laughs> legitimately thought I wish I wish I had um, Ultra Hands to attach it to one of these so I could punch it and make a rocket. <laughs> All right, where where are we going? Where are they? Yeah! Oh sh no! Wrong way! Wrong way! Wrong way! Oh what the? They're so unwieldy. All right, there's got to be a way. Is there an achievement for killing someone with one? Oh, what was in here? amount of med packs we are rolling through with this uh this build god when do you get a weapon oh do you think this is <laughs> i have lots of weapons shattered i'm trying to i'm doing fists only <laughs> you should be able to scan that So, I, I do think that you're supposed to, like, preemptively... Sorry, preemptive. You're supposed to plan for this. So, do you get that one out of the way first. Yeah, this one out of the way first. Then this one. Then this one. Yeah! Alright, I like this. Oh. Well, that wasn't worth it at all. Do I use them every time I hack it? Or is it if I fuck it up that they break? I don't know how many I had. <laughs> scan, scan. Are, are you friendly? What? What are you doing? Are you just... They're kind of cute, huh? You know what, dude? Godspeed. Go do whatever you want to do. I'm, I'm cool with this. Definitely not that one. This one? Yeah, that one. This one. And then this one. Legal tender encoded. Oh, just credits. Legal tender, AKA pretend money. All right, so are we gonna fight this Terramorph? All right, seems like that's that. All right, let's go up. Oh. I thought we were going to the roof. I didn't think we were just going up here. What's this? Hitman Rattler. Science crate. Epic pistol. Your spinal health will be compromised by carrying so many items. We should, I will. I am sworn carry to carry your burdens. Hey, so people who have played this game and are ahead of me, is this the gun that was in the science crate for you too? Or was it a different weapon? Was it, is it always the Hitman Rattler? different for me okay oh so we are on the roof all 
All right, how many tries is this gonna take? It's gonna be a while. <laughs> I'm with I'm with Constellation. You need to stop attacking our ship. Wow, what a Captain America Boy Scout option. That's right. I killed Barrett. So tell your pirate friends to back off. Attack. Enough talk. I have I have places to be. What's your problem with Barrett anyway? We don't have a problem with Barrett. We want that ship, the Frontier. If you're the captain of it now, that means we're after you. Okay. Why do you want the ship? Can. Okay. Oh, this will be fun. Oh no! Oh no, Vasco! What? How do you do that? Did he just slide while reloading? Oh, I'm full. Uh, Vasco, I need to trade with you. Vasco. Vasco. Carlos. Tactical ladder for, for blocking. Man, we could have skipped a lot if we got on the roof. All right, come here. Will you trade now? We're out of, we're out of combat, right? All right, let's go back inside. Hi. Hello. Can, can we... Really? All right. All right. Feel I find you. Easy money. We need to reach the Alphas and may I take something? Okay. Oh, you Okay, how- are they expecting me to leave? Like, jump off? I think we're done, right? I think we, we did everything. Is there no way to, like, unlock a- like, a secret elevator that goes downstairs and I can say, wow, it's just like Dark Souls, or- or no? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Alright, we got out. Do you know how many times I have to use no-clip in my Skyrim run to get myself out of places that I, uh, shouldn't have gotten to? Bro, just like snap from reload animation into oh fuck you, I'm meleeing you. What the hell? I'm coming.
All right, we're good. All right, so now we can just fast travel back while encumbered because there's no way that that's still a restriction in this game, right? My God! Captain, My God! To reach the launch, we must jump to the planet Jemison in the Alpha Centauri system and then land in the city of New Atlantis. Ooh, we got a um, special, special helmets. Anti-ballistic navigator space helmet. Minus 15% incoming physical damage from ranged weapons. 15, minus 15% 15 damage from robot enemies. Oh, there are robot enemies. All right. Should we put a cap on? Let's put a cap on. Oh, utility headphones. Throw. Oh, we had a grenade. Oh, God damn it. Uh, I think, I think we're safe. I don't think we need to carry a gun around anymore. I think we're good. The oh, we're not even meant to the Toria planet. And we filled up the ship. What? Your watch beeps faster as your suit runs out of protection. I have never heard the watch beep. What do you mean? The suit has protection? Okay, all right, here we go. This is really bad, chat. <laughs> This is really bad. You're just there. What? Oh, that's 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 the first time in the game that you've jumped to a new a new star system, and there's just no ceremony, nothing. What? Uh, what? Level 38, you say? You know what? It's because we didn't have shields on. Must have been the wind. Okay, so I've been scanned, so now I I fly down. And to do that, I open the menu, go to the planet, and then do this, and then hit land. Uh, really? Open scanner, hit E on planet. Oh, does that work too? Okay. I mean, that's a little better. That looks nice. You can land wherever, yeah? Okay, can you? Okay. All right, so you open scanner, and then you press, and then you, you say, I wanna land there. Land. It, okay, it's kind of weird. It's like you have to be up, what? Okay, that's, that's strange. All right, but someone said you can land anywhere. I wanna land here? No? So if, if there's like, okay, I wanna land there. All right, so you can pick where you wanna land by hitting scan and pressing R. Okay, what about if I wanna go to like, uh, there was a moon around here, wasn't there? Where's the moon? Kurtz. No, you can't, you can't go there. So it's only, scanner only works for landing in a preset point uh, oh, the eye. Oh, we're gonna get to a good game. What's what's that for, the eye? That only works for preset locations, but someone said you can land anywhere on the planet. So if you do that, you go to planet, and then you're like, fuck it, I wanna, I wanna land here. All right, what if I land like right next to the city? I wanna land here, where I can see the city. All right, here we go. This looks very nice. All right, so to our west, there should be a city. Frontier, what do you mean frontier? What's frontier? 
Oh, that's the ship. All right, so if we just walk this way, eventually we're gonna get to we're gonna get to the city. All right, here we go. All right, why does the thing in the bottom left keep changing? All right, this this is okay. So the planet, the little thing that's at the top of the planet in the bottom left right now, that's north. So this is this is west. So we go this way. Eventually, we're gonna get to the city. Oh, I see it. There it is. All right, cool. All right, why are the level ones like, like, oh my God, what the fuck are you? Oh, they could. Okay, so every single time you land on a planet, it just randomly generates a, a section of planet for you to go with, with random locations that have just Procedural generation generated dungeons and, and shit in them, okay? That, that's how it works. Gotta be, right? Gotta be. All right. And I guess there are handcrafted ones like we just did on tutorial mission earlier. All right, so if I go if I go west, I will never, ever, ever reach the city, correct? You will reach the boundary of the zone. There's a boundary to the zone? Is there really? The map sucks, doesn't it? Isn't the map just fucking terrible? Look at this thing. This is really bad. I do not like this map. I think the caves locations, etc., are all handcrafted. The the order you get them is random. Okay, that would make sense. Yeah. So it pull it pulls from a selection of unique things and puts them down. And I'm guessing that all of the all the locations, all the caves are gonna look the same. Maybe there's some different biome tweaks for them. Maybe, but like interior cave can kind of pass off as being the same, especially if they're so dark. Um, and like all of the factory and the, and the um. Uh, the buildings can be like cookie cutter or from from different um industries or something huh that's not a bad decision like i'm okay with that but that uh, that oh, i don't know i hope there are some handcrafted locations some handcrafted like areas to go through that are like have good interesting things placed on the horizon to look at because if not the progression systems in this game have to be really stellar <laughs> to uh, to make up for that hmm okay all right so we're like right next to the city and it doesn't matter wow okay can you land in the ocean though i'm very sure that you cannot try different biomes do you want to see what what it's like if you let if you land near the 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 pole so this is mountains so there's mountains uh ocean cannot land here what if I land like right next to the ocean? It's not it's not gonna show it, is it? This doesn't look good. What the hell? Oh coast. Alright, so that's forest, that's coast. So will the coast show me the ocean? What the hell happened there? Alright, so west is the ocean. This way. Really? This way? What's going on over there? That looks weird over there, doesn't it? Hold on, I want to go over there and then we'll fast travel back to the ship. I know we said we're going to do main story, but I want to know how the world generation works. And I feel like a lot of people in chat are very interested in figuring out how that works out too. I love Minecraft. Do you know how much my job as a modern dad is settling Minecraft disputes between my children? Do you have any... I know when, there was no school for this. No, no one prepared me for like how many fucking Minecraft disputes I would have to say. Oh, he, he built on my building. No, I wasn't. No, blah, blah, blah. blah. You destroyed my shit. Like, like, god damn it. I was building a spooky castle and, and Finn made some spooky enemies on top of a spooky castle. I didn't want him to do that. Hey, hunting tusk frog. What's your story? What the fuck? Uh... Okay. Beach? It's the wrong direction. The coast is, is to the west. Does it just random- Oh, what? <laughs> wait, what? It just ran- It just randomly puts some ocean somewhere? Oh man, I could farm here for a while. 
Can you swim? I will be stunned if we can't swim. Absolutely stunned. Yeah, you can swim. You can't swim underwater? Really? Is it a skill? Okay, this is not the worst thing in the world. Like, it's not a deal breaker, but it is kind of weird. Yeah, there's a third person in swimming animation. Biome complete, really? How is biome complete? God, it feels like I'm playing No Man's Sky right now. Holy shit, does it feel like I'm playing No Man's Sky right now. I can't believe how much it feels like I'm playing No Man's Sky right now. Oh, man. Owned. Ignore the biome complete message. It's a dev message that never got removed. I don't, I don't believe you. Is that true? Oh, you know why it is? It's because we're in the coast biome. And there's nothing unique in the coast biome. It just happens that it happens to be that there's some other shit that's in the coast at the coast right now from this biome. That's why. All right, that's why it was. All right. Now you've seen every planet. What are your thoughts on the game? <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's fast travel back. Okay, so here's the issue. All right, tab. All right, when we landed up here, right? Look, we're, we landed here and it's coast and the ocean should be to the west of us. But when we got off, we went east to get to the coast. And I don't think this is what we saw and that would be too far away to get to considering where we were. So when, so the, the position of the map or anything that you see is irrelevant to it just, it just creates a pocket based on the conditions that are set on the planet around you. So if it thinks you're a coast, it just rates its coast in any direction. I bet you if we kept landing here over and over and over again, the coast would be in a different direction every single time. Um, frozen Mountains? Frozen Mountains Coast. Alright, so right here, we're Frozen Mountains Coast, right? Like, look, look, look how... Like, the ocean should be in literally pretty much almost every single direction around us, right? Or, oh, here we are. We're on a fucking island here, right? This is an island, right? So let's go there. Alright, so there's... So it should be to the south of us for sure. And it definitely shouldn't be to the north of us. Oh, no. <laughs> it's to the north of us. <laughs> What? It is to the north of us. It's in the one direction that it shouldn't be in. Based on where we where we landed. Is that moon and planet correct in the sky, I wonder? I, I, I'm gonna guess it is. But then they got the ocean direction wrong. That is that hard to do? I, I'm gonna guess it is, yeah. W with all the different places they have to assign uh, that you can generate a location from. I guess it would be difficult. Chlorine, lead lead water and i'm guessing these are for setting up your um for mining and also setting up your bases for what you, for where you want to uh extract stuff because i remember that being in the showcase i don't know how important that is but yeah argon oh man i'm sorry i'm sorry to be negative i'm trying to be i'm trying to be honest and so far honestly i've been enjoying the game not like to a very high degree but i have been enjoying the game um, I'm sorry to be negative because it can be kind of a downer, but this has really taken a lot of the wind out of my sails when it comes to enjoying the exploration of this game. Figuring out how, how this, the planet generation works and how it just spawns an area around you. The fact that it's random, even if there are handcrafted stuff, like, there's no way that they're going to be able to match the, um, the, uh, the wow factor of seeing, like, seeing some of the stuff in Fallout 4 in the distance for the first time. Or stuff like the, um... I can't remember the name of it, but I loved it. The, uh... What, what's the, the area in the southwest uh, corner of the map in Fallout 4? Uh, the something sea. The glowing sea. They're not going to match the glowing sea. They're, they're not going to match, like, that area where you where you fight on a bunch of, um, of shipwrecked boats and some and, and the raiders have made, like, a, like a base there. They're not going to match, the, like, the feeling you get the first time you see... Um, that city in Skyrim that that is built on a on a cliff with that big supporting pillar on it, or the first time you get to Markath, you know, there's there's no way that they're gonna have this 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 journey where you are climbing up the the mountain for the first time to go and see the um, the the Shoutsmiths, you know, like there's no fucking way that they're gonna have that, right? So 
unless there are handcrafted planets that have that kind of setup and if there are then great i will f i will hopefully find them and i'll be happy to find them so like let me just quickly add that qualifier uh maybe there's going to be some in the city right now when we go there but you know you just drop into the city and then you explore i don't know i i'm pretty disappointed about that but maybe the progression systems are better the combat feels better um but if the progression systems are really good and, and it's really rewarding to go to these different planets set up bases get a crew you know do a lot of research stuff like oh I, I can i can i can develop my character i can get new shit i can i can um really push the progression really far then that might be fun but um the the number one reason i play these games is for just free form exploration and just like most of my time spent with skyrim and fallout 4 and even fallout 76 well fallout 76 that's the whole game is just spent kind of just wandering just being like like literally just wandering like oh that's cool on the prize and let me go and check that out and while i'm there i see three more locations i want to check out next and then i get caught up in like oh I, I went into a secret dungeon and i got some loot and i went back and i put it in my stash and then i want to go back to that place that i saw that looked really cool and then i and you just get kind of like um uh chain lightning through the whole entire map th through that way witcher 3 can do that a little bit too but nowhere near as good as bethesda was at it in skyrim and, and fallout 4 uh, and fallout 76 does it better too because because the locations look really cool on the horizon so yeah i'm pretty disappointed right now I'm pretty disappointed. Now I have to hope that they nail the progression system, which they've never done well before. <sighs> oh, man, what were they thinking? Why? Why would you do that? Maybe there are maybe there are handcrafted pockets on some planets. What were they thinking? You can't even fly between the planets. You have to just go to a menu. What the fuck? It makes a lot of sense to be trying to make a forever game since Skyrim Radiant Quest heralded the end. If there's a really good progression system and, and this could be a good forever game, yeah, they might have succeeded. I just... I'm not condemning it, I'm just really worried. Like, look! Look at this! Th this is a perfect example! This looks cool! I would have loved to have seen this on the horizon as I was exploring and be like, Holy shit, what's that? I want to go there! I want to see the story there. I want to get there. I want to have a journey there. And on the way there, I get attacked by some goblins and I get sidetracked into four dungeons. But in the back of my head the whole entire time, I'm like, that cool as hell looking city on the horizon. I want to go and see there and see what's going on there. But instead, it's just like, welcome, motherfucker. Like, just get out of your ship. What? You're making things hard. And here's your new captain. My crew can take a look at your ship. And you can stop by the trade authority kiosk if you need to offload some cargo. 1,000 credits, my ship needs repairs. I'd like to view and modify my ships. Let me see what ships you have for sale. Where did you say I could sell sell things? Where can I go if I need more crew for my ship? I would try to view port. They'll be on your left once you get into the plaza. The trade authority runs a vending kiosk next to my booth. It's just off to the side, near the ramp. Besides that, Jemison Mercantile is your closest shop if you're looking for a bit of everything. That's further in, past the security checkpoints. I'm sure you can find something you like. Ooh. Ships for sale. The Rambler. Galileo. Sparrow. Responder. Gladius. Oh, I like that one. That one looks cool. Shieldbreaker. Huh. Uh, is there like a size? Crew 5 two three uh four all right so mass what does the mass mean is there like a fuel cost or something associated with it fast ignition reactor okay uh hull where's the amount of uh the most important thing is the amount of uh stash space <laughs> what, what? where's the stash space stat i need to know where is it? What's the mo- is it- is it mass? A oh, cargo capacity. 228? That's not a lot! 2280? That's not a lot! What's my current? 200? I'm gonna need, like, the biggest honking ship ever! Alright, I would like to increase my cargo space. Cargo's 450. Alright, how do I do that? I would like- uh, ship builder. How do I just add a module? Or can I not? Is- is there always a set amount of modules? There's no way there's always gonna be a set amount of modules. Options, delete, pan, left control. Okay, how much will that increase the cargo? By 240. Okay, starship design, rank one. All right, uh, this is two, 210, this is 225, 245. All right, so I want to, I want to add this. Where can I put it? 
All right. It it just works. All right, duplicate. How do I duplicate? Options. Duplicate. Oh no, wait, what? Shit, I thought it was on that. Undo, undo. She's back, chat, she's back. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, there we go. I'm good. All right, mass. All right, I, I I would like to end, please. Exit. Errors. Why? What are what are my errors? Flight check. Ship has unattached module. What do you mean unattached modules? You're fucking it. Need more grab jump thrust. Ship is too heavy for grab jump. Reduce mass or increase grab jump. Reduce mass. Oh, fuck it. No, I want I want it I want it on. Move. Move. Move it. Move. Okay, maybe I'm tired. Maybe I'm tired. Maybe I'm tired. Okay, I, w I want I want to select it, all right? And then I want to put it somewhere on my ship. All right, so I'm selecting it. All right, now can I move it? All right, now I can move it. All right. So I want to flip it the other way. No, I want to flip it the other way. Can I, can it, like, right? I want to, like, no, this is the only way it can go. All right. How do I move it down? F. Right, is that is that attached? Is the is the thing attached? Is there like a snap mode? Do I have to like make space for it somehow first? You need attachment points. Okay. All right, that makes sense because this is way too hard right now. All right, so I want to add an attachment point. How do I do that? Bays, landing bay, cargo bay, cockpits, dockers, gav drives, habs, reactor. All right, this is pretty cool. Structural, weapons. Okay, you know what? This this is an, this is enough. No, this yeah, just just cancel. Yeah, I'm good. Yep, yeah, it's good. All right. Stop right there. You oh yeah. <sighs> Why do I always get the dumb ones? Then pay with your blood. We have a skill point, don't we? What do we want to spend our skill point on? Oh, we can get rank two. Unarmed attacks do 50% more damage, 50% less. Okay, so even though I want a different one, this might be worth it to get right now, right? Or do you want fitness? 10% more oxygen. What were the big ones? The real big one we want is rejuvenation because we are eating through so many um, health packs. But there was a good one here too, wasn't there? In combat, was it... Um... No, we should definitely focus on physical. I feel like we should definitely uh, get up to gymnastics and then to martial arts and then rejuvenation. This is a good tree for us right now in order to generate more XP. So I'm going to I'm gonna do it. Rank 2. Alright, so what's the challenge this time? Kill 50 enemies with an unarmed attack. Really? Just no, no like... Nothing special, just just that. Okay, fifty percent more damage is pretty good, though. Let me guess, protocol indigo again? Again. What? Okay, a thousand credits is suspiciously even, right? So is it a thousand credits to repair your ship, no matter if it needs ten percent, fifty percent, or one percent, or maybe it's like first ten percent, no matter where it is in the ten percent, is thousand credits, and then it just scales up from that. Hmm. Insurance is where they get you. I think I paid more for the insurance than the delivery. And with spacers, Varun, and the Crimson Fleet, you have Oof. to buy. I need to borrow your ship this weekend. Is that okay? Is it? What, what is this? Oh, it's a headband. I was like, it's the same color as your hair. Sounds 
said. Whatever it is, it can't be that bad, right? You will be scanned as you enter the city. Please keep moving. Sell drunk first so you can build your dream Rocinante. Hey Mara, can you draw me go fuck yourself, Chan? Expansator. Expansator. Oh, also, thank you to... I'm in the fountain. Rocinante would be a great ship to have in this universe. It would be great. So that's the main quest. Let's just do the main quest. Let's just see what happens. This is neat. I like this area. It looks very good. So far, the game has looked quite, quite good. The NPCs don't look the best. Honestly, it kind of feels like I'm playing Cyberpunk. Uh, I would say that's the weakest link is, is the NPCs. They look strange. Oh, there's a train thing. Okay. This is New Atlantis Transit, or the NAT. It provides free transportation throughout the city. We can take it directly to the Mast District. Socialism in my future? Back on the ship. Let's go. Back to Neon City. Fuck it. Fuck this place. No, no. What is this? Today's going to be a great day. Don't you agree? Donna Rain. Does everyone have a name? Wait, why do you have a name? I'm so excited to see Tony after work. Why does Tony get a name? Oh, hi there. I'm doing great. How about you? Uh, I've been struggling to find meaning in my life. I have so much res. Mm, you've all been there, I think. It's working? I need to find a goal to strive towards. I've been trying to save up enough money so that I can go explore the settled systems with my boyfriend, Tony. I think. Take care of yourself. Yep, bye. Yep, yep. See you later. Yep, mm hmm. Yep. <laughs> the water is quite aesthetically pleasing. Or so Barrett has told me. New Atlantis relies on advanced hydroelectrics for most of its power. All right, so how are all the other how are all the districts put together? Can I walk between all the districts? Is this game so probably not? What do, what do they look like? Uh, it's what? Really? What's going on over here? Get out there and show them what the UC is made of. Supra et ultra. Hoo ha! That impressive building is Vanguard yes. Calls. The military, administrative, and scientific triumvirate. It stands as a symbol of the United Colonies. Okay, I want to know where 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 am I? Go where where's the ship? Oh, there. So if I walk southwest, can I walk back to where I was? I'm sorry to get distracted. I like. I just. I'm so fucked up. <laughs> I want to know. I want to understand how this works. Can I have my compass back, please? All right. So south southwest is this way. All right. So if I keep walking this way, can I get back to my ship? Oh, can I get out of the city too? That doesn't look very good, does it? All right. That's the first visual that I haven't really liked so far. Atlantis Corporate Park. Quick save and find out. Yeah, let's let's quick save and then we'll just load back here afterwards. What's this? Welcome to Infinity LTD's corporate headquarters. No, don't get distracted. Stay the line. Southwest. Can we get back to our ship? What? 
Maybe it's down here. There it is. Alright, so you can. Alright, so it's all one big city. Alright, okay. This is not as far as it looks. Wow, no map for the city. What the fuck? Am I wrong to dislike that? I, not all games need a map, but like this is a... Uh, I'm really surprised by that. I wonder if this is handcrafted. I wonder if everything around the city is handcrafted. This is a big city surrounded by nothing. This is odd. Huh, okay. Like, there's no urban sprawl? There's no, like, suburbs out there? You thought that? Okay, like... Hmm, okay. I... Alright, I wonder... Let's see, can we make it? <laughs> My stomach is gonna turn when we fall here. This happens a lot in games. I'm really susceptible to like like the, the sensation of falling in a video game. It makes my stomach just go. Oh, here we go. All right, can we make it? Can we make it? Yay! New affliction. All right. Okay, so now we've we figured out this is one bit one big connected city. So that's good. So let's go to the the main quest and, and continue. Let me in. Let me in. This is the wrong place. Why did I think we were going here? My bad, sorry. Is Joe still one punch man? Don't do that, don't weebify my build. I get why there's not a map for generated sorry, areas, but for, for cities, come on, you can make a unique guard. stylized one if you don't want players to ask why only some places have good maps. Yeah, I think so too. I think I think this place definitely should have had a map. The, the front door should unlock if you hold up the watch that Barrett gave you. I have messaged the other members what? of Constellation. They will be waiting for us inside. Alright, so we're the League of Losers. Alright, nice. Alright. The load screens too, man. Captain, everyone will be in the library, just inside. If Barrett were here, he'd probably tell you that you're part of something big <sighs> and he hopes you'll make this place your home. I'm gonna do it, chat. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm sorry. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna compare it to Witcher 3. It's in eight years since Witcher 3 with, like, seamless swinging doors. Every door swinging door. Every location. Every interior. Seamless. Outside. Inside. One second. Go through the door. You know how much that adds to the immersion? Fucking eight years since Witcher 3. This isn't even one big map. How the fuck? Eight years! Eight years! The, the, the leap that Witcher 3 had over Skyrim four years later. With Skyrim having this tedious, like, even if it's instant, it adds this little bit of friction to go into a location. Like, I don't think people appreciate just how much that can wear you down over the course of a game and how it makes the world feel dis disjointed. It's just like, every single time you have to be like, there's a pause to the flow of gameplay. There's this little momentary lapse where your brain starts thinking about something else or gets distracted or has to be like, I'm taking out of the experience. With Witcher 3, you just like, boom, right through the door. Just right through the door. Just You're just inside. Here we go. You see people leave in the inside. They don't teleport when they go up to the door. There's this flow and shit that happens. <sighs> Cyberpunk does it too! Cyberpunk does it too! That's an even better example! Cyberpunk does it too! Welcome to Constellation. We have a lot to talk about. Would you care to tell us what happened to our friend? Why you're here and he isn't? I killed him. Pirates attack. Barrett asked me to deliver the artifact. It doesn't matter. I have your artifact. Who are you? Why don't we start with you telling me what the constellation is? Huh. Okay. I see. Bosco, verify. All statements made have been factual. Sire. Uh, this is just typical. Barrett hands over our ship and our robot to some random employee of that discount mining outfit he uses. Walter. And if we hadn't insisted on installing those emergency protocols, I guarantee you this rock breaker here would be halfway to Neon. That's where I'm from. Yeah, I would be. Yep. He's here with the artifact. Thank you, Matteo. Now, let's focus on what's in front of us, shall we? What happened when it was extracted? Did anyone see anything? Hear anything? 
It was bright lights and music. I'm not talking about this. That thing almost killed me. How many times has this happened? Who else has had these visions? These are all... Uh, I'm in full... I'm in full toxic negativity mode now. Uh, I've, I've spiraled. I've spiraled. Now that there's like... I'm looking for like hope in the story now. And I'm not seeing it. And now... Oh no. Uh, all these dialogue options are bad. Oh fucking hell. I don't want to be this chat. I don't want to be this person. I don't want to be like this. Uh, is there something wrong? Yeah, there's lots wrong, Sarah. Interesting. Similar to Barrett's description of the experience, with less embellishment. Oh, it happened to him too. Okay. Oh, or did he like tell you ahead of time? Me now? I wasn't in doubt. But honestly, God, if you expect us to believe in fairy tales, if this is the greatest mystery, holographic in projectors, universe, why couldn't it be part of the ultimate mystery? Uh, gentlemen, can we please focus? We know the artifacts react to each other. The pieces we already have move when they're in close contact. Just like the others. To imagine, we thought there were only two of them at first. Space scavenger hunt, that's kind of fun. Oh my god, that's it. They're reacting. Look at how it's coming together. This is a collection. That's arguing between them. No manufactured material in the settled systems can do that. None of them. This proves Easy, girl. You'll have a hunt attack. She's not the only one. If they're coming together, it's there's a set. Yeah! Built by an intelligence outside the settled systems. <laughs> so, are you ready to get to work? No. See if exploration is the life you want to lead in this little universe of ours? Um, 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 is my character dying and all my friends are trying to make me feel special before I go? What's going on? All right, I'm in. Tell me what happens next. This is all a little much. I need something to clear my head. How much do you know about the artifacts? What are they? You want me in Constellation? What does that mean? What's expected? We're all here because we're committed to exploring space. Humanity may have settled the stars, but that doesn't mean we should stop diving into the unknown. Beyond that, you'll be expected to use your own judgment, just like the rest of us. Okay. Individually, they're just odd hunks of metal. Another oddity from the uncharted reaches of space. As to what they are, what they're building. Well, you'll be part of solving that puzzle now. Fair enough, but you need a place to stay in the city, right? Why don't you settle in here? We owe you that much. Come find me when you're ready. And here, I think you've earned something for bringing the artifact to us. In addition to credits, why don't we set you up with a backpack with some boost capability? Hmm? You'll need it out in the field anyway. Just mind your head. <laughs> just, 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 so much shit just appeared on the screen. Just uh, top left, top right, center achievement. Just, just, just like bum 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 bum. You won the casino. Like just so much shit. <laughs> All right, is it a boost to my uh, to my? Um, can I boost now? No. Where is it? Physical or t attack? Right. Boost pack training. There it is. You can now utilize boost packs. All right. Uh, this seems important actually. Can I unlock? It? Oh, I have a skill point. Oh, shit. Oh. You know what? It's fun. We should get it. Let's do it. With your choice to join Constellation, Noel. Is a dream come true, Sarah? You know that. Just making sure. Right, young girl like you. <laughs> so fancy. Woo. This is mine now. Okay, who's the leader here? Because okay, no. either they're a traitor or I'm them. they're gonna die at some point because I need to take over. It makes it back to us. I know he gets into trouble all the time. Mercury I mean, camera. Sort of accepts, you'll be fine, but still. This is neat. I like this area. This is cool. I hope you are satisfied with the quarters available to you. Doesn't Ethan miss you? That you never true. expected to end I up am away from in home something like this. I'm told that when Aww, there's here, a it's a fake fire. Might be missing. Darling, 
Permanently reduces fall damage by 5%. 5% resistance to fall damage. All right, so there are skill books. Cool, I like, I like finding skill books. Own bed. And although Constellation's re relevance has been a subject uh, of much debate among the new Atlantis in intelligentsia, the disappearance of founder Sebastian Banks was a bl Oh, oh, the, 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 the position is already open. Oh, okay. Phew. All right. Phew was a blow most felt the organization couldn't survive. In fact, Constellation's disbanding seemed imminent until member Chloe Bao changed her vote in the 11th hour, thus ensuring the group's continued operation for at least the time being, as well as her unexpected appointment to the position of chair. Oh. Getting some companion vibes right now. All right, you know what? Don't loot. Don't loot. We need we need the space. Oh wow, this place is huge. Have you heard of Returnal? Yeah, I'd like to play Returnal. We'll stream it at some point. I don't know when, but I would very much like to play Returnal. Oh, this is our room. Here we go. Why are you specifically looking at every bed? I'm trying to find the bed that says like ours because they said they gave us a room. But maybe she has to take us there first. So, are you ready to get to work? Or was there something else? I'm ready. Where's where's my room? Not much, but you've seen them for yourself. It doesn't take a lot to realize we're dealing with something extraordinary. Just what that is, we'll have to figure out. It's what we do. First of all, I think you can dismiss any stories about us no longer existing. Hmm? I don't believe in smearing our name everywhere we can. Exploring the universe, charting the unknown, that's what counts. Besides, having a little mystery gives us room to maneuver. A fixed reputation could fence us in a lot of ways. We're explorers. Humanity has always hunted for knowledge in the unknown. We just take that a little more seriously than others. We were founded decades ago by a man named Sebastian Banks. He wanted a small group of people from all corners of the settled systems dedicated to the biggest question of all. What's out there? These artifacts could be everything we've been looking for. Another great secret the universe is asking us to unravel. We're going to be doing some old-fashioned detective work. The artifacts are relatively inert once they're out of bedrock. That means people can pass them around, not even knowing what they are. I've been letting my contacts know to be on the lookout for strange metal objects. Get back a lot of noise, usually. But a tip from the UC Vanguard sounds promising. How did they know the one was there? How did they find that one? I wonder if they're gonna, if they have some sort of scanner. We have to assume that we're not the only ones to have stumbled into this mystery. But most people aren't going into space looking for the unknown. They're looking for places to settle. Resources to extract, territory to defend. An odd-looking rock or a single strange hunk of metal wouldn't mean much to them. That's why Constellation exists, in a way. To put pieces like this together. Together! A volunteer force that helps defend the edges of United Colonies' space. They're always looking for recruits. Lots of retired veterans and dangerous professionals mixed in with part-timers who barely have a laser cannon welded to a hull. My contact is in the recruiting office, so he hears a lot about what the volunteers are up to. You've done this before, eh? Wise words. We watch each other's backs. We'll be fine. But it's not just that. I want to take this opportunity to see how you handle yourself. What? And for you to learn more about us. I'm going to be sticking with you for this. We'll be traveling together until we either find an artifact or this lead runs dry. Sarah will be locked as your follower if you continue. What was what what is this face? What? Okay, I, I don't really do finding things. If you have something that you need me to go, preferably a long distance, to go there and then put it on my ship and then bring it back, th that's my whole backstory. And I'll punch anyone who denies that I went to the moon on the way there. But, like, what, what, seriously, this this fight. Okay. Got it. You and me until we get that artifact. Sh sure. 
Yeah, what do I get out of it? Yeah, what do I get out of it? Yeah. You mean besides the ship, the robot, and a place to stay all rent free? Yep. We do have some funds we can disperse from time to time. Not to mention, I think we can get you a proper suit. We're explorers. We keep a lot of equipment on hand for that purpose. So the more you work with us, the more we can share what we have. It's it's a it's a company ship that I'm doing for what you want me to do. It's a company robot that is there to make sure I do what you do. And the the room I haven't I haven't found the room. All right, let's go. We need to head to Mast. Check in with the Vanguard recruiting office where my contact works. And listen, whatever you were before or whatever you do once you're out there, I don't care. So long as you don't bring UC security to our doorstep. Every member of Constellation is their own conscience. Understood. I've killed a hundred people, and and they didn't deserve it. What do you mean? You don't you don't care if I steal something? I don't get caught? I mean, Constellation has a roster of members who haven't always been on the right side of their respective society. Ooh. We're risk takers. Some of us have seen the inside of a jail cell more than once. If you join us, it means you're committed to our mission. In exchange, we give you latitude in your choice of means. Sounds reckless. An, organize, an organization should have rules. Yeah, regs, yeah. Those are the rules. Advance humanity's knowledge to the best of your ability. As long as you do that, I'm not here to judge you. Now, let's you and I get over to Mast. Okay, so someone said I, I missed the door. This one? Aha! So this is my room. Moby Dick! Ooh, fancy. Storage, yay. Can you wait outside? I want to sleep. Let's go. Let's just go. Okay, this is this is not the right way, is it? This is a strange road. All right. Oh sh. Dislocated limb. Reduced carry capacity. Oh my god, that's the worst one. All right, can we hear it? No. Nope. It'll be fine. Sarah. Uh, another space explorer. Hey, you ever think of joining up with the Vanguard? Help the United Colonies, earn some credits, even get your UC citizenship? Maybe later. All right, all right. Can't blame me for trying, right? I mean, I still haven't given up on getting Sarah to re-enlist. It's a game. Whoa, we what do we... He asks. I say no. Here's what I got for you two. Vanguard volunteer by the name of Moera. Helps patrol the old neighborhood. Sol, Mars, Neptune, you know. The Sol system? Which Admiral did he upset to get that posting? He's Martian, born and raised. Not like I can get anyone else to care. Word is he's got some fancy metal ornament he's been showing off to the old grounders. Matches that description Sarah gave me. Wasn't there a line earlier about people don't think Earth exists? What, 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 is, what is this? Uh, Mars? We'll talk to him. We can make a good offer for it. Uh, wait, what's wrong with the Sol system? You kidding? Lowest posting request rate in the whole fleet. Only thing there the UC cares about is Mars. And no one wants to go to Mars. They want to get off Mars. Okay. Can I go? Oh, he goes way back. I think he was recruit number 81 or something. What? <laughs> nah. Soul system is as quiet as a coffin. It'll be fine. That means it's not going to be fine. I'm sure you two can handle it. Soul system is a lot of planets. But a vet like Moera will be checking in at Sidonia on the regular. You mean hitting the bars, don't you, John? Hey, nothing wrong with a little refresh between patrols. <laughs> oh, I don't like the I don't like these talking head sh changes. It's awkward. It's it's like it's making me uncomfortable. I don't even know how to explain it. I I don't like it. I really don't like it. I feel like I'm just full on negative bullshit now. I feel embarrassed. I I feel sad, but I I want to be honest. I don't like it. I really don't like it. You'll have to ask him, but Vanguard volunteers have retrieval rights if they get into a scrap. Wouldn't be surprised if he found it off of a pirate or something like that. Just turning around and she's just staring at you while those two are having a conversation. It's weird. Yeah, 
Bring a coloring book. Get so used to seeing red, you'll forget what blues and greens look like. Oh. A bar in a spaceport sounds like home. Uh. It's definitely a lifestyle. All right. Running helium out there, seeing where the stars take you. I'm serious about that recruitment offer, by the way. You just come talk to me when you're ready. You see, is a good friend to have. Your thoughts? Oh, we're done. Okay. Oh, that looks cool though in the background. Look at that. It's like the menu uh, in a McDonald's. If you don't have official business, we ask you remain. All right, where are we going? Bartender at the viewpoint would stop complaining to security. I don't know what she lost, but she won't get it back by annoying us. Oh, that's a. Oh no, it's begun. Did you take an arrow in the knee? Oh, is it storming? What's this rain? What? what th there's rain. It's 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 strange rain though. You see it there? Better over there. Oh, we wanted to see if we could salvage our shit. Hold on. Ship services. Hey, where can I sell shit? Hey, what can I do for you? Trade authority. All right, so vendor sell. So we can sell shit, but can we break stuff down? No, it doesn't look like it. No, I don't think so. I think we just have to sell some shit then. This, do you have limited, um, limited credits? You do. Oh, God. I, I've done a planet and I'm already in debt to the inventory system. <sighs> can I sell things directly from the ship stash? I can. Oh, -ho! very nice. All right, let's just sell it all. Spacesuits. Oh, that's worth a lot of money. Why is that worth so much money? It looks cool, doesn't it? Maybe I want to keep that. All right, so picking up bullshit is just not worth it. Maybe I should sell any everything apart from the egg. The egg has got- uh, see, is the egg for someone? Is there someone that's gonna be like, I want all the alien eggs, can you bring them to me please? It's like, oh, it's time for egg delivery. Like, w wasn't there someone in, in one of the earlier Bethesda games that was like, I want, like, bring me forceps or something, and it, you could have sold them throughout the whole entire game? Like... Well, I'm having fun. All right. Modified Grendel, Rescue Axe, Solstice. Uh, warning. Oh, okay. We're not, we, we can't. We're, 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 he's out of money. He's out of money. All right. So I'm just going to wait. I'm not going to wait. Hold on. One second. You don't want to mine. Oh, did I sell my mining gun? Uh-oh. Where's Vasco? Vasco has like a full inventory worth of guns and shit. Where is he? He's back at the library. Vasco doesn't live on the ship. Did it say he was leaving? Joe Bethesda rules, you only get one friend. There's a crew for the ship! Go buy crew for the ship. There's a crew limit for all the ship. Is this is this one for the ship? Oh, money's back. This is my favorite thing. All right, does the helmet arm automatically go off when we're... No, it doesn't. Oh, that's lame. Are you winning, Joe? I'm, I'm having so much fun. I love doing inventory management so much. So much I love inventory management. You know me, inventory management Andy. Okay, so now we're going to a different star system. So here we go. Let's 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 see how it goes. All right, so we're we're going quests. No, that's not it. L missions. Oh, look at that. Saul. Okay, let's go. Jump. Oh, there is fuel consumption. How do we get fuel? This is United Colony Space. I hate it so much. I hate it so much. All right, let's um back up. All right, can we go to Earth? What happened, bro? Well, that's not very nice. At least the coast is not going to be in the wrong direction when we land, because there isn't one. I would like to land. Can I land on Earth? It's not going to let me, is it? Really? Uh, 
Okay. The whole Earth looks like this. Oh, so it's set in the Fallout universe, and they just kept nuking it all over and over and over again. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. Really? Is there anything around? Alright, there's, there's an unknown here. There's an unknown there. Remember when I said I was just going to do the main quest? What if I take my helmet off? Okay. Surely they didn't randomly generate an alien on Earth, right? Oh, there, there's going to be a Terramorph in here. Don't get me wrong. Just wait for it. Unexplored geophysical feature. All right, what is it? The Statue of Liberty. The meteorite fragmented during impact. Sorry, fragmented during impact, creating a trail of scattered debris. All right. Do I have to find all three of them? And then a rare mob will pop up and I'll kill it for a random chance at loot. All right, we got two out of three. Thank you for the scan, here's some money. God, what did they do? <laughs> what? <laughs> Alright, where are we putting our skill point in into into fist? We don't even have it. We need we need one more point in physical. Do we wanna get increase our, our carry capacity? We probably wanna save it up for boxing, right? We need to kill 50 enemies. All right, let's just save it. Was that was that it? This was it. Okay. I have something for you when you have a moment. Oh, what is it? Okay, cool. Just hanging out next to the bathroom, huh? Here. I have something for you. Thank you. You're welcome. I picked it up on one of our latest planetary expeditions. I'm more than just an extra gun, you know. So you you picked it up here. Is it a rock? I appreciate the effort. I'm just pleased I get to utilize some of my old field collecting skills. It's been a while. It's a leaf. I think I still have time to go back to writing the books. Do you think I can do it? Do you think I've, like... It's been eight years I've been out of the game. Like, maybe I can get... Uh, uh, just... Uh, I just have... Uh, uh, <laughs> is there anything to do here? Nothing. Alright, doesn't look like there's any biomes here either. Sandy desert, sandy desert, frozen plains, sandy desert. Fro what, what's frozen, though? Sandy, sandy... Alright, what what about the moon? Can I go to the moon? Abandoned bionic slab. Alright, I want to go to the moon. Alright, the moon is the best one, alright? I know. The moon doesn't have oxygen. So if I can go to the moon, and it will let me take my helmet off, I can get really angry. I like being angry. Scan unavailable, okay? I, will, I just want, yeah, let's go to Luna. Yeah, let's go. Yep, yeah, here we go. Alright, we're here. Let's land here. 50. What do you mean 50? What does that mean? Nova Galactic Star Yard. Okay, that, actually, no, that's not where I want to go. I want to go to... Whoa, whoa hold on. What, look, can I, I... Actually, maybe I do want to go. What's here? Sorry, it's my first day. Alright, can I not... Can I not dock if I'm if I'm in scan mode hail board get up all right if I get up can I just like go to the the top one and go through I can. All right. I'll I'm interested. My crew position. I'm 
Mondays, right? going on here. Oh, what the hell? Oh no! Alright. Anyone want to give me shit? Are you see, I came in and I, I'm hitting them. Why are you, why is everyone hating me? Holy shit, did they just spawn forever? terrifying what is what is the what is that on the map is that get out of here so you can go back to the objective it's got to be right that leads to the main objective all right i have no idea what's going on at the moment we just came in here and now we're just fighting people because they're having a war uh, oh food i, I like food <gasps> toast Cooking station. You can't use this while in combat. What are we going to be cooking? All right, are, are, is there an end to them? I'm starting to get worried. Let's save it and just run through and see. Okay. All right. Joy, use your grenades. I'm only out to use them sparingly. Sparingly. I'm leaving. Fuck this shit. I want to go to the moon and take my helmet off and get angry. I don't know what's going on. I just walked in here and suddenly I'm in. I'm in the middle of a of a of war. I don't get it. Where are we headed next? Oh, you think I'm in charge? Oh, that's cool. I'm happy about that. Why am I fighting with my hands? It's my build. I'm playing a build. I'm, I'm role-playing in a Bethesda game. A mistake, I know, but I'm trying. That's not how it looks. Reminder, infinity. Yep, it's terrifying. Yep, it drove everyone crazy. Utility flight suit. I wonder if there's like a skill mag here. I wonder if there's like a porno mag you can find that makes you move faster. Oh, what's in there? Do I mean too difficult? Fucking limited edition. <laughs> I want to go here. All right. All right. I'm getting out of this, the chair. All right. I am putting my helmet on. I am going down. All right. I am on the moon. What the fuck? Moon's haunted, moon's haunted. Do I fucking Sarah? What the? Punch the robot. Okay. There is absolutely no atmosphere here, right? There's no atmosphere. It's the moon. She's wearing a spacesuit, right? You're wearing a spacesuit. All right. If I take my helmet off, I should die. Here we go.
What the fuck? Ooh, low gravity gives me that feeling I have butterflies in my stomach. What the fuck? Let's take everything off. Maybe, maybe the suit, like, intravenously supplies oxygen. I don't know. Like, let, let's just take, take it all off. All right, we're naked. Maybe the pack supplies the oxygen. Is there some lore that people in the future like have like an implant that makes it so they don't need oxygen? I, th that's impossible, but like whatever, it's sci-fi bullshit. Hey dude. I'm the naked astronaut. Uh, what airlock? For what? For what? You're gonna get yourself killed. Opening fire. Get on me. Ah. My head. Ah. A whole tray of coffees. Coffee. Where is it? I just got a whole. Oh, were they already drank? God damn it. They're miscellaneous, aren't they? Ah, god damn it. Is this. No other enemies in here? Okay. Hey, Joe, what do you think about the game so far? I can breathe. I can breathe on the moon, and that pisses me off out of 10. I, I'm so sorry that I'm that kind of person. I kind of feel like this one, this time, is it's it's understandable. Doing laundry? Oh, look, it's got lower gravity because it's on the moon. All right, so they understand that, you know, different places have different conditions, but yet I can still breathe. Okay, that's fine. All right, that's, that's cool. All right, got that. Got that done. Why? Is it... There's this blue rectangle on the floor, and when I'm in it, it makes everything blue. What does the blue rectangle do? What... <laughs> Why is there a special blue rectangle? What does the blue rectangle do? I feel like there's a skill book or something here. Oh, look at this. This is nice. If you're overloaded, we should stop and prioritize what we're carrying. I like the art direction in the game. That is a... Dirty paper towel. Isn't this a robotics place? It's just a co is there is there a door I'm missing somewhere? Why even bother with the oxygen tanks? No one needs them. I need to give you some shit. Let's put our armor back on. You know, no, no, I want to go to Mars. I want to do more of the main story before we end. We have, we have 20 minutes. Let's go to, let's go to Mars. Let's go to Mars. What? All right. So I need, let's see, I need, I need a space suit, right? Okay, still not good enough. And then I need a helmet. All right, is that good enough? You must wear a space suit, helmet, and pack in this environment, okay? Now let's put it on. We have a pack. All right, now we're good, right? All right, we're good. Okay, now I take it off. Hot fixed? It might not be Jemison, but this ship is starting to feel like home. It's been four hours. Okay, so what's causing the bug? Okay, let's let's experiment. Alright, we had a hat, we had this, alright, so now we're gonna go. Alright, so we're gonna go downstairs. Alright. We're fine. 
Extreme solar radiation, planetary condition. Wait, is it just because it's daytime now? I don't remember that being there before. So if I take the helmet off now, it's gonna go brr, 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 brr. All right, bam, bam, bam. All right, so I put the helmet back on, all right? How long would I need to sleep for? Like, uh, one hour, okay? Let's, let's try. Get up and get going. All right. Okay, it no longer has that thing there. Oh, it's back? Okay, that didn't show up the first time we landed, did it? All right. You must wear a spacesuit helmet and pack in this environment. Suit integrity. Well, I'm glad that it's working now, but I don't understand why it wasn't before. Oh, that's gorgeous, isn't it? Wait, that's not the moon? Someone said maids because we were put into combat, but we didn't, it was fine on Earth too. And Earth doesn't look like it has any oxygen. She was wearing her spacesuit on Earth. So it wasn't working on Earth either. So what's going on? If I take it off again right now... Okay, can I... Can I take my helmet off inside the ship? Yeah, okay, so that's fine. And if I go out with it off, it's gonna fuck up, right? Yeah, okay. Alright, let's go to Earth and see what happens on Earth. Maybe the airlock fixed it? Yeah, it seems like it did. How was it broken? That's so weird. You go out, go out and airlock in the tutorial. Oh, and I clipped through the door. Oh shit. <laughs> Is that really it? Hold on. If if we if we load, hold on. If we if we go back to the moon. What? Why are we here? Did I hit a, a location? I thought I fast traveled to this and I hit land, didn't I? I press it and run out. Aha! All right, now I can take the helmet off. No, all right, that worked. That makes sense. Okay. Man, I don't even remember having the environmental hazard there before. All right, I'm in with it. I can take my helmet off. I'm fine. All right. I fast travel to the ship. I get out. No fucking way! <laughs> what? No fucking way! What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Now too. Hold on. <laughs> no, it's not. What? What the fuck? How is that working then? That's so weird. Is it because of the radiation here? It's not because of the oxygen. Because the radiation was gone on the moon there, right? Let's try fast traveling back to the moon and see. Like maybe it's just is the effect just missing? Yeah, now it's back. So it's not the lack of oxygen, it's the radiation effect. It's that sometimes the radiation effect is here and going through the airlock made it go, did I just get lucky there maybe? Why is it teleporting me here? Is it because I'm like exiting the ship as soon as I land instead of going down through the ship normally? Is that it? And it just like, it, it didn't, it doesn't load in the effect. Cause here it's loading me right on the planet for some reason. Go inside and then travel to earth. Okay, let's try that. I think if you exit directly from the cockpit onto any planet, you don't need a spacesuit. That that's my hypothesis at the moment. So if I go to here, right, and I land on Earth, okay, and I land in a new location and it lets me land on the ship. Like with the ship, let's see. If it boots me on the planet, 
Yeah, see? Hold on, but if I just like, what if I just fast travel back to the ship right now? If I fast travel back to the ship, maybe I don't even need the airlock. I fast travel back to the ship, now I exit off the ship. No, that didn't work. Huh. So the airlock is important? Yeah, the airlock's important. What the fuck? So when I go through the the airlock, it's keeping some, like, you need air flag, and it doesn't take it away until you go through an airlock again. So when I clip through the one at the beginning, I think that really did do something. Absolutely consistent. Or what if I go, like, back onto the ship? And then I go back out. No, it's fine. So there's no airlock component to to the ship. What if I go out, what if I go onto the ship and then... And then exit ship again from from the from the the chair. No, it's set in stone. Oh shit! What I do? I clip through it again. This is so weird. <laughs> Welcome to the should I do for videos, by the way. This is so weird. I don't get it. Someone said, "What if I fast travel to the or use the nav table to get to Earth now and actually land?" Like, it's, it's just gonna kick me off the ship. Why does that matter? Why does it kick me off the ship sometimes and not others? Oh, it didn't! Okay, hold on. Exit ship. <laughs> All right, that's it. I'm, I'm flagged for being inside an airlock the whole time. And for whatever reason, if you're not teleported, kicked on the planet, it, it keeps that, that, um, it keeps that condition. So we've just accidentally had it the whole game, and that's why it's been happening. So if I go back on the ship right now, it'll still work. <laughs> what? Oh, man. All right, so that's that's a mystery solved. Now, if I go... So if I use the nav table to go back to the moon, will it... It, it does a different version of fast travel, I guess? So nav table to the moon will put you... Will make the ship actually land, and you'll be in the ship. Let's see. No! But it still works! What do you mean? Why is it fine? Now I'm more confused. It has to be from the ship. Or will it work for Mars? Let's go to Mars. Because Mars is an atmosphere. They might have terraformed Mars, actually. Like, who knows in this in this world. Alright, Mercury, Venus. Can we land on Mercury? Can we land on Venus? Venus is a very cloudy place. Venus would be cool. Can you land on Venus? Set course for Venus? No, 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 stay the course. Mars. 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 All right, where are we going to Mars? We're going to Cydonia. All right, Mars launch pad. All right, we're going to Cydonia. Set course for Mars. Yeah, here we go. Venus would murder instantly do it. <laughs> All right, Mars launch pad. That's where we want to go. All right, I want to land, please. Open planet map. What? All right, we want to go there. Land. Venus is not a gas planet. It's it, it's not a gas giant, but it's very inhospitable to us. The very lots of clouds, isn't it? Isn't it very like it's like hell? All right, here we go. Exit planet. Yes. Are you do you have a suit on? Yes. All right. Do 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 is there gonna be an airlock here? Please get naked. The hat stays on. Why did that just appear? What? Oh no, an airlock! No, it's not an airlock. It's just a normal. No, this shit! All right, have I lost it? Nope. Okay, that that doesn't count as an airlock. It has to be an airlock that has like an actual time when it when it transitions. Like what the? F All right, let's go to Venus and then we'll end end the stream on Venus because we have to end. We should have ended ten minutes ago. Actually, shit. I'm. Oh, why does my my booster pack keep leaving? All right, Venus, 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 Venus. Right, will it even let us land on Venus? Maybe Venus is not a planet you can land on. Oh, it does. Extreme environment. Here we go. Oh, this one got a fancy animation. 
Exit ship. <laughs> Naked astronaut run. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Anyway, thank you very much for watching my first stream of uh, Starfield. Um, unfortunately, we cannot stream tomorrow because something came up. Um, we might stream Sunday. If not, we might do a, a start the week on Monday. But next stream, we're going to do fan art. So it's a fan art. Oh man. Do you know that Endgame Mary can ask this way, which would usually only be accessible when she gets some super suit in the Endgame? God, I hope so. God, I hope so. What if we could just like go to like like the, the evil alien artifact planet that has like extreme radiation? We just go in. Oh man, oh man, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't believe it, I can't believe it, anyway, this was, uh, this was super fun, um, closing thoughts on the game are pretty mixed, but I do think that it has a lot of potential, uh, but it's definitely not going to be a Bethesda game in the same way that, um, Skyrim and Fallout 4 function for me, so that's going to be, for me, it might function that way for other people, but for me, it's not going to function that way. Um, I am curious about the progression systems. If the progression systems are really good and the side quests are good, then we'll see how it goes. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Um, 